Welcome, welcome on in, everyone. Hope you all are having a fantastic afternoon or whatever time it is for you there. And hope you're ready for some uh, World Trojan War. This is going to be the second ever stream for the channel, so uh, bear with me for any kind of mistakes and missteps and misplays we will be having, because I actually haven't played a whole lot of Troy, but I do quite enjoy the uh, Greek mythos and the Greek mythology. I did a lot of studying it into my time, so we'll hopefully have some good bits and blurbs to add on in here. We will be playing as Memnon of Ethiopia. If you know anything about the Iliad or Memnon's story, he, while it was a fantastic warrior and one of almost no, almost no one can match him except for Achilles. And so he went up in a duel with Achilles and as most people in the Iliad learned, that doesn't, doesn't end well for you. So he, he got defeated, slain in single combat, and then the rest of his army just decided to march on home. They, they just went home. They were having no more of the Trojan War after that. 12.30 Saturday there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and, and you were asking earlier, Troy is very, very similar to uh, Warhammer. It's almost it's almost identical even. We are playing on the historical version, though, so it's going to be very slightly different. The heroes, instead of being kind of larger than life, uh, figures as they are in, in Warhammer, are able to slay pretty much thousands of, by themselves if they want. In this one, they are kind of just one with the bodyguard unit, as they would be in kind of the more historical titles. They still, I do believe they fight better than most infantry or most bodyguard unit that they are with, but they are still just a mortal man. Everyone hearing everything all right? Every, all the uh, audio balanced proper? Let me know. If anything needs to be changed, I can get it fixed on up right away. It does look like everything is holding it nice and steady on the network side, which is a, a boon. All right, we can start getting into the details for Memnon there. So I actually have played just a wee bit. I haven't played any Troy, like I said, in, in a while, but I jumped in these past couple days just to give Memnon a couple couple goes. I've only played a couple of the first couple turns and fought a couple battles to get the hang of how Troy, kind of the swing of the Troy, swing and flow of the Troy battles. It is a lot more to do with flanking units. Sure, their stats matter, but they're they're... Their uh, leadership breaks very easily when being uh, surrounded or even flanked, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Turn the game up a little bit too low. That's I can do. How's that? A bit better? Higher even. Right now it's just a bunch of music, so... I don't know how loud it it is going to be there. Either way, we'll get start getting to uh, the faction details there. We have Pharaoh's Servant. We do not actually recruit units through our buildings. We are going to call on unit reinforcements for our faction from various territories in Egypt, Ethiopia, Canaan, and Susa. So he's basically, for lack of a better word, he is the Torox campaign for this one. He is a horde faction that is just here to break everything. Uh, no one is safe. Memnon is here to ruin everyone's day. You're going to manage a supply of reinforcements, which through, I guess, though limited, enables us to raise full armies in a single turn. So we can kind of recruit guys as we would with the Warriors of Chaos, where we have a recruitment pool and we can just pull guys in as long as we have the them in our capacity. Uh, we will also be unlocking new territories through uh, different, I think it's through different tributes. If you give them certain resources, you're able to unlock new territories in Egypt and the different, uh, I think it's the different territories of Pharaoh there that we, we can actually call units from. We will be a resourceful strategist. Oh, that's not good. We do not have access to spies, envoys, or priestess agents, so the normal agents that the other factions will have access to. We do not. We instead have camp followers that we can assign with, uh, that will provide us different benefits, and we can assign them with, again, different resources. Our armies will not be able to reinforce or be reinforced, so we'll have to provide form actions of camp, or action active camp followers before battle to compensate. So since they can't be reinforced or reinforce each other, those camp followers are very, very powerful. Yeah. No, this is this is exactly the reason when they when they announced it. Troy was, I mean, it's very cool uh, era, and, I, and one I would wish was given a little bit more more love here. But Memnon's faction and even Rhesus's faction, which is about uh, uniting the different tribes up here in Thrace, pretty awesome. They're all about. I'm even happy to go over here and take a look. Dogs even wearing a bear belt and everything. We may even play Reese's at some point. I like him quite a bit. He's got all about chariot 
uh, Chariot play, and he actually can summon in countless hosts, kind of like Slanesh, where you have these different host armies that you can summon on in. Quite fun. We are back over with Memnon. So our army is a horde. We roam around the world and own no settlements. We will check with the war spoils that each settlement has and plan our campaign carefully. So each settlement we raise has a huge heap of a certain resource that we gain, and we'll have to kind of plan accordingly to that. His recommended playstyle, his roster consists of mostly quick, lightly armored warriors that, however, have the means to survive until the late stages of each battle. Uh, each culture within the roster provides a different strategic advantages. We will have access to the Archer Skirmisher, the Archer Trickster. Uh, we won't have access to any of the Defender uh, class heroes, and actually, I, I won't lie, I, I don't know a lot about the heroes, so if you have any tips for me on the heroes, feel free to drop those below. Uh, so we, have, we will have Fighter Champions, uh, Fighter Ravagers, and Vanquishers the Warlord Mentor, Commander, and Warmonger. Our unique units, which besides everything else that we have, his entire army is unique, uh, but his unique units are going to be the Marianu, which are two-handed spear chariots. Heavily armored lads there. The Sheridan Warriors have battlefield healing. All right. And immune to flanking. That sounds incredible. And then the Magi Warriors there. And yeah, we're going to be there an incredibly offensive faction. Well, I mean, I won't get into the, the details of that, but I could I could debate with you on, on that one a bit. <laughs> yeah, true. They, what do you mean about the uh, Mali Empire? We'll get going then. Hailing from the remote kingdom of Ethiopia, a vassal state of Egypt, the great warrior king Memnon was a distant cousin of Paris and Hector, whose prowess in battle was very nearly rivaled that of Achilles himself. Renowned as a humble yet formidable leader of men, Memnon pledged a mighty mercenary host in support of Troy, bringing together a vast elite fighting force assembled from the diverse kingdoms on faraway shores. He is a kingdom of Paris and Troy, and that is kind of what brings them over into the conflict, as well as Troy being allied with Egypt themselves. Pharaoh told him to go, and so he did. He's going to be the son of Tithonius and Eos. He'll have 10% extra movement capacity, or movement range there, and then a drop to all of the construction costs of all his horde buildings. It kind of seemed like they were going to make more horde factions, perhaps at some point, but he, I think he's the only one. Regardless, we are going to be playing on hard uh, campaign difficulty, so that way the enemies are going to have, they pay less for army upkeep and unit recruitment, as long as other benefits. It's going to allow them to actually field more armies and let us to fight more battles. We will keep the battle difficulty on normal because they receive no penalties and we get and they also get no benefits so it's just like fighting a normal army on the field and since i am still kind of learning i'm happy to play on normal for now we'll keep the uh, campaign difficulty on hard though oh yeah they did they did kind of drop this one as this one was a saga though so it, it, i don't think it, it was intended to have as long of a life as some of the others but as with a lot of the historical campaigns, sadly, they just didn't quite get as much attention as as I would have liked. Let's get on in here and uphold these vows, though. The battle. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine no, influence to justify our foolish choices? Her. He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. The wrath of Achaea will descend upon Troy. Paris acted in love, but he has incited war. Whether the walls of Ilios will endure, only the gods can tell. Hey, not if we have anything to say about it. Memnon to the rescue. At least that was the intent back in history. 
And Adam, I, I, I honestly, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by a Mali Empire. I might be because just because I'm a thicky. I don't really know. <laughs> but if you could explain, I'm happy to try to figure out what you're talking about. Memnon. Again, I, I'm, I'm dumb, Your so distant kin and Ilion have roused the anger of the mighty Achaean warlords. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. And so you have sailed out. The spear tip of a mighty host blessed by divine Pharaoh on a mission to aid exquisite Troy in the face of looming ruin. I stand loyal to my kinsmen. Yeah, no, as my Hector. shield will shelter the people of Troy. But be wary. Would be so the angry Rhodes with the does Paris. not take kindly to allies of Priam. And even now, muster their forces for battle against you. Farther west, Idomeneus, king of Crete, will interpose his might ahead of you in the great theater of war between Achaeans and your Trojan kin. Take heart, great Memnon, for you are blessed by the dawn and girded for war by Pharaoh himself. Your victory oh, dude, is Oh, going assured. for gold. Thank you so much, man. That's incredible of you. Hope that concert is uh, is awesome. Yeah, no, that's 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 awesome of you. Let's get it. Let's get into the campaign. So for Ethiopia, I think we have already kind of gone over, but uh, Memnon's armies cannot inhibit or inhabit settlements. Instead, roam the land with no place to call home. Well, that's quite sad. That's why we're so angry. Hordes earn their resources and favor by raising settlements, taking advantage of their unique war spoils, which we will be into so each each settlement here gives us a certain amount of resources when we raise it memnon cannot recruit units for the greek from the greek world he fills his ranks by sitting from reinforcements from the lands where pharaoh's influence and gold hold sway some lands are inaccessible to him as he until he enacts royal decrees to unlock them we'll get some of the royal decrees in, in a second that is our going to be our tech tree he is going to be a resourceful strategist so memnon doesn't have access to the spies or any of their agents however his prestige attracts camp followers from faraway lands to bolster his armies or grant him special actions before battle Indeed. We've got our first mission issued here. We have to defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle. Rhodes. The people of Rhodes are mustering their forces. You have to muster yours, march out with your army, and strike first. Well, we already are marched out. We're getting 250 food and 80 bronze. Which of the many different uh, resources we have, it'll be food, which is the basic resource, but it'll be required to train and support units. Is basically your, your, uh, your gold from Warhammer, if you will. Even though there is gold over here, this ignore this. You know, wood can be the basic resource required to construct buildings and is gathered in four settlements. Your tier two units and some of the more elite ones are going to take wood and food both. And then you'll have stone, which is a resource required to construct advanced buildings and is gathered in stone quarry settlements. Or for us, burned to the ground and scraped from every order we can grab. And bronze is a resource required to equip and support advanced units and is gathered in the bronze forge settlements. So we are just going to be dropping most of these the entire the entire game. We're going to have to be countering that out by raising everything we can on a never-ending conquest of destruction. So the map is quite large. Whole bunch of city-states and other things to raise on our way over there. And we are going to want to try to avoid the Trojan-aligned settlements if we can. I don't know if we're always going to be able to, but we'll try. Memnon! We've got Memnon up front. He's, he is an epic hero. He actually starts with... I think he, it'll tell us on here. Not my tutorial. I wanted to see Memnon's forces here. Yep, he starts with... You can actually trade out his... See his lineage, so that's what we get for his his normal uh, his traits there. He has a Homeric character, so whenever he is wounded, he will just be or killed in battle. He'll just be wounded. An epic hero, so he's going to get extra rage and more morale. And then his influence is going to be increased in the region as well. And then being the expedition commander, he will regain 30% movement range after raising a settlement, gain 8% uh, movement range just for in general, and then uh, have 15% more successive ambushes. They are very, very sneaky. I was sure somewhere on here we could see his, his bodyguard here. So the Ethiopian Spearman is all we have for now. But as we unlock more as he levels up, we'll have other bodyguards that are able to roll with him. Ethiopian Spearmen spear are fine for now, but there are much more elite units that he'll be able to roll with for our 
unique item. We also are going to have a stone tablet that proca proclaims the holder as a representative of Pharaoh, with all the required flourishes and grandiose titles. We've got more morale for all of the units in his aura, in the army, and then more melee attack of all of the units in the army as well. Quite a nice item there. But again, he cannot be reinforced, so that's kind of one of the big trade-offs. Right, and then I guess before oh, no, we kick on things on off, we'll do one last thing. I'll show you all the graphic settings we're rolling with. We'll find it eventually. There you are for any wondering. I may put the arrow trails up a bit more. Looks about right. And then we'll get right back to it. All right, Memnon. Before we start off our first battle, we can both check out our Royal Decrees, which I do think will go for the growth first. There is all sorts of things. This is your normal tech tree. Most of the factions look very, very similar to this. They just have very slight tweaks depending on uh, which faction you're rolling with. Memnon has the biggest changes out of all of them. We've got Pharaoh's Gesture, so drops the cost of Egyptian units. Most of the best units are actually not going to be from Egypt. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I think Nature's Bounty or the Master Jewelers for extra gold. Some of these others are pretty good too for destruction decrease. What say you, chat? We go for growth or gold first. Pottery King. Oh, Kilns. Listen, it should be the Pottery King. What say you? Gold or growth? I'm going to go for growth, if otherwise. So growth it is. You can trade it on off if y'all think so. We will swing on into the... It's not the divine will I want yet. It is the Pharaoh Servant, so we can take a look at some of our new units. This is going to be where we grab our extra units from when we are able to actually afford them. So looking on side to see where you would have to get these reinforcements from, from the northern Egyptian territory. It would cost 2,000 of our food, which we have 3,000 of. And then 175 wood, we would gain these into Pharaoh Infantry and these Egyptian Slingers, which are very all right, but they don't have Vanguard deployment, which the boys from Napata do. These Ethiopian tribesmen from back home. The territory of Napata has long and storied history with the Ethi or Egyptian kingdom, which it pays homage. Fertile lands and fierce people offer hearty results, or hearty results? Or hearty recruits for the Ethiopian king's cause. And these are going to be the ones we do call our reinforcements from. Because these guys, these guys are excellent. They've got Vanguard Deployment and Leader's Will, which basically is a, uh, a set morale boost. So if they start dropping morale, you can basically counter that whenever you want for any of those units. We are also going to come into our resourceful strategies. Kind of take a look. These are our camp followers that will be replacing our overall agents. We've got a healer. All sorts of good stuff here. I'll just kind of mouse over a couple of them. I won't name all of them off growth hey jake i like what you're thinking morale these all come from the different provinces as well shipwright sounds good for something we want pretty soon grants an action that hurts the hero to half their health well i mean that seems great poison the wells Susa gives us a rumor monger, which drops the morale. Well, I mean, sold. There is benefit in morale drops in all of the Total War games are always very, very worth it. We probably won't have much for our horde buildings. That'll be fine. Arrows, stone, extra morale for all the Egyptian territory units. Battle speed and capacity, huh? That gets incredibly powerful. Same thing with the Ethiopian one. Extra range is always useful. We'll hold off on some of these other buildings here, but you can get temples to each of the gods that are available here, which we'll also take a quick look at before we jump into our first battle. So for the Divine Will, we could basically give either a Hecatomb or a Prayer. I'm, again, I'm going to have to, I'm still, again, still learning, so if you are kind of aware of the difference between the two, the Hecatomb gives you immediate 
believe it, from what I know, it gives you an immediate bump to the a favor of whichever god you want. So just a quick 70 favor, and then you have to have uh, a cooldown for a bit before you can use it again. The prayer provides its effects for four turns. Well, that's that's pretty simple then. Just read. Egyptian Slingers will gain the Encourage effect for Hera. We are going to come on over and take a look at Athena. Fruit rank extra. This could be quite useful because we could get in some troops that are already uh, rank one. Let's grab Athena. Morale of Spear units. We have quite a bit of those as well. So we'll drop in a Hecatomb for her. So for 500 food, sacrifice for Athena. And now we've got plus two to recruit rank of all units. And then the Pharaoh infantry gain a flanking defense, which is great. So they're going to be our main holding force for the start here. And my favorite Greek god is Poseidon. Just for any of my chairs. Let's jump on into Pharaoh's servant. Now we'll go ahead and recruit some units as I wanted to. So Kerma has some of the best units that you can get early on with the Ethiopian archers and these uh, Urtjet staff bearers. Two-headed clubs. Two-headed clubs are always great. Smash them on the head. That's the fastest way to get rid of them. But they're expensive. So, Napata it is. These guys cost 500 food and way more of the gold. So, we'll call these lads on in. I come down to 1,000 food. And beyond. You indeed do, my friend. And now we're going to overwhelm this poor lad over here with lots of new boys. Welcome, lads. Now we have an army of 12. King and this man has an army of 7. Ethiopia. I can do math. To the field of battle. And we have the blessings of Athena as well. So we've got extra morale for all of our spear units, which consists of our Nefero infantry, and I think that's it. I might have been. Oh, we have the Ethiopian spearmen and Memnon as well. Perfect. Well, the balance of power is a little bit extremely on our side. Sorry, Pleiotorus. He's got a militia, some spearmen, beat class medium. They're versatile. They've got a bonus to the large, bonus to the axemen. I think a bonus for swords as well. We're going to keep swordsmen away from them. Luckily, we've got clubs. Clubs aren't axes. We've also got two units of slingers and some young spears, so we should have no trouble smashing them. Let's get to it. And we've got weather effects in this game. Oh no, Warhammer. All right, we've got dry weather, that'll work. Dry works fine. No adverse effects for us at all. And they're gonna kind of clump up in the middle. Death comes for thee, fool. We've got a bunch of uh, Vanguard deploying units here. And we can kind of sit them right up in their business and they will be invisible until we choose them not to be. And then a Pharaoh infantry, we're gonna put them here. And I'll let these guys advance quite a bit more before I reveal my uh, my clubs here. We are going to put the staff bearers and the spearmen in this little bit of uh, grass because they can hide in here. Bit of low foliage. They can see you. And we'll have Memnon win with them. This will be the uh, elite vanguard up front. And luckily the controls are very similar to... Uh, the Warhammer still, so I can still use my control. For anyone wondering how I'm grabbing the whole unit at once, get everyone you want grabbed. You hold Alt, you can drag the unit around in formation. If you hold Control, you can turn that formation at the same time. Works in battle as well. You can also just Control lock your units if you wish to do that as well, but I do not. Uh, let's grab our Egyptian Slingers and throw them in behind, or maybe off to the side slightly of our Nefario infantry so they can throw in on the flanks. These guys will be a group. I'm lying. These guys will be a group. You'll be with the infantry. Oh, I can't control into one. Sad day. That's fine. Put you guys in guard mode there. Same thing with all of our archers. So let's grab our Ethiopian hunters and javelin men. We'll take a quick look at our units once we've uh, gone ahead and deployed. Get the javelins. I think just in the center. But we can get them a little bit closer. Sneaky, sneaky boys. Oh, let's put them here. One unit, this one, and then the other here. Is Troy good? See, I guess you'll get to find out. It's it's pretty alright. I think it is. It's very, very similar to Warhammer. 
it's just this is one of the saga games so it doesn't ha quite have as much love put into it as uh, one of the main titles but I think it's pretty good we've got for mods just the better camera mod as well as the one that gives the uh, range death animations a little bit more flavor oh, my archers you guys up here too our death animations a little bit more flavor and then I have one last one that I've forgotten we'll have to pull that up in a moment we've just got three mods in for the moment making the camera better and then just some death animations and such so I think we're good to go we'll take a quick look at our units they're all hiding in the brush they look incredible I wish we had I'm, I'm hoping we get another historical title very soon medieval 3 would be awesome I'm not even adverse to a uh, more modern even more modern war it'd be tough to pull off but I think we can do it by modern I mean maybe World War One or World War Two. one of the two great wars Greeks standing against us men of Rhodes this guy's got a bad haircut gonna get him gonna get the battle lost little do you know fashion is half the fight these guys have some nasty hook hammers here armor beware they don't have much armor themselves but I don't think they need it the actual armored soldiers of Rhodes there All of them that shall soon be slain. Right then, let's get this battle started. Make sure I've got everyone kind of where I want them. Let's get this thing started. Looks like the boys are still staying hidden. Perfect. Let's bring you guys up. In the middle here. We'll get the archers. We're actually going to have you guys walk. Vigor is a lot more important in the historical versions. We'll have them walk to start. We'll just kind of speed the, uh, the battle itself up. They do not want to do much. They're just going to kind of keep waddling on around. We'll scoop Memnon forward a bit. As long as they can hide in the bushes. Stay sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky Memnon. He doesn't even know what's hitting. The soldiers of Rhodes don't even know what's going to hit him. Right, we're going to have the Slingers. Their target is going to be this group of Slingers, but still walk. Not run. You're going to jump in against the Warlord there, but again, walk. Be good. No one else has been noticed, so we're still good. And moving on forward, let's go ahead and put things back into normal speed, and then get the rest of the troops moving up. Start harassing those Slingers. Make them suffer sounds good. Charge on out there. Woodsman. Uh, you guys go ahead and start running. Please and thank you. You guys go ahead and crash into... Yeah, I think Cleodorus needs his... Uh, what an unfortunate name. Don't say it too fast. Memnon come up and around. Bring the boys in. Glory to Pharaoh. Slow motion. Oh, I don't have the hotkey set up on this one. I was going to say we get the slow motion charge of the Ethiopian. I don't have the blood in it guts going on this one, so it's going to be a bit of a, a bonk fest. Bonk. Several little lads going to get knocked out. All right, make sure we get the surround off here. So these guys charge in on these spears. We jump these guys. We don't need the extra morale yet. The enemy's being unfortunately overwhelmed. Fortunate for us. Keep firing here on this poor lord. Right, no, we can't rage them out. They're already fleeing. It's too late. Men of Greece, your time has come. Victory is close enough to taste. You cannot escape your fate. Completely surrounded. We've although we may be doing more friendly fire than anything. Those three guys got knocked out. Victory is close enough to taste. Most of them are fleeing. They're routing. Broken on them. That's a pretty decisive first win there. Make sure the tribesmen can chase down the rest of these fools. Let's get the uh, slingers cease firing on their own troops. We can help it. Friendly fire is uh, extremely unfortunate. Uh, you keep chasing these guys down. No quarter indeed. Uh, you hunt down their lord. Do what you can to chase them. 
But as I did not answer the uh, the question of is Troy good, that kind of depends on uh, if you enjoy this style of a more historical, less fleshed out Total War Warhammer. It's still pretty good though. I'm not gonna not gonna give it any any knocks. You are victorious. You are indeed. We outnumber them by a long shot. Oh, kick sand in his face. Hang on now, Memnon. I don't know about all that. Well, this man got absolutely crushed. We gained a good bit of bronze food and experience. We didn't take too many casualties at all, so we are going to go ahead and put them to death for more moral. Or morale, obviously, is the proper way you say that. We'll let them live for a bit more to our treasury. Rhodes is defeated, so we gain some food and bronze. We need to recruit more units. I think we've already got that completed. Yeah, that's right, bring it. 300 more food and 100 more bronze. Awesome Man. stuff. Can we recruit in any more soldiers? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. For our skill points here, we've got either the March of Hermes or Lead by Example. Follow me and I shall lead you to glory without end. 90 second buff is pretty solid. Gives it to either himself or just an ally. 10% more melee attack, damage, and defense. Or the March of Hermes here. Which is a targeted ability that is going to increase speed and give us more stamina. That can be turned into the March of Hermes speed and radius. We get even more speed or add larger radius on it. 60 to 100. That's pretty solid. Either that or we can get charge, which gives us more charge bonus, or morale. I mean, on Memnon's troops, the charge would be very nice. What do y'all think? We need to go for the more damage or more speed and some stamina reduction, or some stamina replenishment. Memnon the Staminus, or Memnon the Supreme Puncher? Base Puncher Extraordinaire. Really, certain warriors and bodyguards. Are these guys different here. Armor or melee attack? I see. Comes on breakable or frightens. We'll definitely be going for frightens. Example, face punch. Oh, that's two. That's two for face punch. All right, Memnon the Slapper. Lead by example. He does have a bonus to be large. Emnon himself, I don't know if he would. He would have a bonus versus manlings. Alright, that looks good. Glory is ours. Take a fast look at our resourceful strategist here. We've already got the rumor monger that is. They say the Ethiopians are part of the sea and fought Poseidon to get here. Go listen to me, what do I know? Hilarious. Or not. More growth, more campaign movement, or... Unrestricted replenishment rate. Unrestricted replenishment rate sounds nice. No dancers for us. We don't have quite the food. Yeah, let's take the extra replenishment. Every land I travel teaches me something new. Good to always be a student there, Memnon. King we could immediately attack Maros here. Which gives us more of the things we're looking for. It's the where are we looking at? War spoils. Here we go. So what we need uh, more of is just about everything. In Let's check our horde buildings real fast. So to upgrade the hero's tent, we would need more wood and stone. Pharaoh will be pleased. And we'll need that to actually upgrade anything else. We could grab ourselves. The marching drums is really what we need then. So we need wood and stone. Let's go find it. Wood. That is way too far away. What do you mean? There's got to be one closer. The nearest one is up there, huh? That's going to be a while. Where's our nearest stone settlement then? Here in Psychos. Okay. Well, it looks like this would give us stone, so I'm a little bit confused. We won't worry about Defender it too much. We move on over to Lindos first. This will give us some bronze. 
Fight with honor. And Athena is still blessing us for this battle here. Oh, Chrysippos. He is leading the charge here. He is a fighter champion. What does that mean? He's a victor of many battles. This hero has mustered these or mastered the spear and shield and can use them flawlessly. Both during deadly charges and lengthy, arduous siege situations. He's got light swordsmen. Okay, so he's got light swords, which are actually weak to spears, if I'm, uh, if I'm correct here. Not Memnon spears. These are, these are not that kind. That's fine. We'll take a fast look at our map there. Yeah, they've got some, it looks like some low shrubs, but mostly open terrain. We can sneak up on them with a lot of our, uh, our vanguard units here. That's one of the best things about Memnon for sure. Oh, we can encircle it now. Why would we? The battle. Let's get them. All right, so weather effects, no adverse effects. We've got just dry weather. We'll start deployment. No reason to wait. All right, so we've got lots of terrain to deploy up on. The enemy is most likely just going to be in here. So we'll have the tribes and we'll have two of them in this patch of shrubs. Two more over here. Be nice and sneaky. Uh, the air jet and the spearmen. If I can stick them in over here, that'd be great with Memnon in behind. Same as last time. It's that nasty flank in. We can get the lead by example as well. That group. Tribesmen. We'll have the Nefero infantry walking right up the front here, being nice and loud. Drawing all the attention to themselves. Slingers off to the side there, and then we'll have our archers behind our tribesmen. Two groups of hunters. I don't want them deployed right up on them. So we'll probably have these guys. They might not have much of a choice here. We'll put them as far back as we can. Try to keep them safe, but who knows? That may not go well. Guard mode for you guys, and we'll put you with group uh, two if we can. Awesome, and you will be in guard mode as well. I do forget we can switch their attack mode. What switches it from the spear and shield to just a two-handed spear, which I believe has more armor piercing, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's got more armor piercing. It's way less melee defense. Boy, we should switch them to that once they're in combat. Unless we don't want them to actually hold, I guess. Wait then, let's get this thing started. You guys right up the front there. Luckily, our javelins are still hidden. Move these guys up on the flank there. A, a cat attacking the window, so if you can hear that, I do apologize. I'm looking at it with angry eyes. I don't know if it's working. It doesn't usually. All right, lads, get moving forward. We're going to have and it's slow most of you down, even though everyone is kind of freeing themselves from the sneaky positions there. All right, javelins, let's go ahead and push forward and attack these slingers. Well, actually, I kind of want the tribesmen moving in first. They do have shields. Let's move together on those long spears, these young spears. You guys move around. Archers work in on Chrysippos. Slingers get up on these Achaean Slayers here. You guys move on in. We'll have you guys jump these spears for those slingers. Militia and then Memnon against the young spears. Be business like this. Push these guys forward in on the Achaean Slingers, trying to do as much damage on them as we can. You guys charge Chrysippos, and we'll have these guys go around. The amount of butchered Greek pronunciations we're about to experience is going to be far too high. And the first bit of engagement has been engaged. Proper usage of words for sure there. No one likes getting hit with a javelin, I can promise you. Ouch, that was a lot of damage. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Of course they have. They're not being very sneaky. Right, and on, you come up and around. You guys charging on these militia here. Our spearmen are very slow. We're going to have to keep that in mind going forward. All right. The militia, they're getting bogged down by those young spears there. So let's switch their targeting rather quickly. Victory is close enough to Don't even get to use any of our abilities. I want to keep doing battle in the window for real. See who wins that fight as we defeat Rhodes. 
I keep firing on Chrysopos. He's being shot in the back. He definitely doesn't like that. I wouldn't. Not one bit. Let's force these guys. Oh, they're, they're fleeing. We force them to try to attack Memnon. That'd be great. Oh, it would just be great. Push them through. He and Slingers need to fall. Take them off of guard mode for me. There's the victory. That is excellent. Suffer they shall indeed. Alright, we're gonna try to chase down as many of these guys as we can. Everyone here fire on these militia. We're not gonna try to get too much friendly fire there, but you guys can chase them down quite nicely. Uh, you guys split up. I'm not sure kind of same to Warhammer if it does give you more experience running them down, but it's so much fun. Run, fools. Your bath towels won't save you from club. Get on up here with those slings. Face as many guys down as you can. I guess they decided running after them was not worth it. Slay the Lord? Come on, do it. Hunt the hero down. I realize after this whole time we haven't even seen Memnon yet. What have I what have I done? Memnon! He's in here with his spearmen here. As one group. He leads from the front as a proper king. Alright, you guys turn around and jump these militia. Speed. And we'll speed things on up. Easy. My favorite Total War game at the moment is. Well, I think it's a pretty strong tie between Warhammer 3 and uh, Medieval 2 with the proper mods. I like the. Uh, Third Age Total War. Quite a good one. What's your favorite? Jake, what's your favorite Total War game? I will admit, though, I haven't gotten to... Ooh, right in the neck. That's what you deserve, fool. Get a good bit of experience, some food, and some gold. I don't mind if we do. We could raise and enslave for a bit of horde growth. We just get less goodies. Hmm. Less goodies makes me sad, but horde growth sounds very nice. Let's do the raise and enslave for this first one here. Welcome to being subjects of Egypt. You're welcome. We have left a pile of cinders and ashes. Such is the way. All right, Memnon, we turn around and we are going to get into... Can we go into a march stance at any time here? Uh, I think so. That yeah, looks like it. So let's move over into enemy territory. We venture forward. Like proper... Set up camp. Proper invaders. We'll set up a camp and then we will go to possibly do some building. I don't know if we gain quite enough of anything. Nah, not yet. Well, such is the way. How about sitting for more reinforcements here? We need a lot more food and wood. Well, not so much food, but a lot more wood for Kerma. Let's see if we can make any deals then. Who has some things for us? Also, we need to figure out who is unfriendly with us, who would like to be slain. I think we've got some Achaeans down here to deal with. The Dolphin Clan, huh? I don't trust dolphins. Gnosis as well. Okay, what, are we, what are we looking at? Making some quick deals. Anyone want to make any deals with us? I figure Troy might. They're not even sure if they, they want to make friends with us at the moment. Well, Troy has not a lot of actual resources to pass out right now. Although Paris does not value wood very much, which makes sense. I'm sure we will both profit from this exchange. Yeah, I'm sure. Can we get a, a bit of a single barter from you? I'd love some. Logs. Do some building. That's going to take forever. Let's ask for 250, perhaps. You're just going to give that to me? Oh, oh, let's offer. <laughs> That'd be why. 500 wood we'll ask for. And then he would like some bronze. I've got a ton of bronze at the moment, so let's try to pass them out. 
more than 100. Listen, buddy, I don't know if I value bronze as much as I value wood. Uh, three, five, fifty. We could possibly give him some gold. Gold, I got. Twelve? No. You get none of my gold. How about sixty-five? Ooh, we could haggle with him a bit. Sixty-two. There we go. Did, were we just were we just at sixty? Haggling like a champion. One more? Nope. Almost. 55, that'll work. Gimme. But of course. Of course. Thank you, Paris. Who else has things to give? Hector has plenty of food. I don't want food right now. Ropian has... Who do you ally with? Rhodes. Well, you're gonna be in enemies with us soon enough. Before we are enemies, though, what if... Get this. I can't see how this will help. Yeah, me neither, but what if you give me 250 of your... Well, he really doesn't want to do that. Or perhaps maybe 300 bronze? Oh, hang on now. That, wait, wait, what am I thinking? That's way too much. And actually, he's going to be giving us a garbage deal. We're getting out of here. We'll be there to take your things by force. Is ours. That's fine. We get a little bit of wood out of that. Ethiopia. No, not diplomacy. Figure these buttons out here. Divine will. So the prayer costs 30 gold now that we actually have some... some allegiance to her already? Interesting. Okay. Well, that should be our first turn then. Unless we've missed anything, which I don't think we have. There we go, yeah. Unless anyone can be given with bronze. Your right is for wood. Unlocked by royal decree, Tithonius' companions. We need Canaanite brothers, the greater Ethiopian army, and then the upper kingdom. Good to know. Third age mod, yeah, that one's that one is awesome. I won't lie, my favorite two factions are either the the Veilsmen or Dogaldur. Just for maximum poison arrows. You throw so many, so many toxic sticks at the enemy. All for reinforcements from Napata. Did, did I not just do that? Under the auspices of the divine ruler, he sailed. The warrior king of Ethiopia, far across the wine dark sea. After months of, of entreating, great pharaoh, lord of two lands, uh, to allow him to venture to Troy and render aid to the house of Priam. Ra's chosen has finally agreed to commission uh, ships and ferry your men across the Aegean to join the fray. You know too well that pharaoh's blessing comes with a price. Price is calling for reinforcements or being slain by Achilles. If we win, we get the Chosen of Raw and bonus experience. Sounds awesome. We also need to go ahead and issue a decree. Your people are eager, eager to follow your orders. For it is through your wisdom that they will flourish. Issue a decree and they will be put to work. Indeed. To work, they shall be put. And My people of Chimeros does. shall be put to the sword. Enjoy. Although we can kind of check and see if more lads from Napata are ready to join, because we do have a quest for this any anyways. I'd much rather get some Kerma lads, but Napata it is. We do have a quest. Heroes can be found in every corner of the earth. That's very true. We get some experience and the chosen. 10% more movement range. It is time for you all to face for your doom. All right then, let's grab us some more javelins. These guys have no upkeep. I'm lying. They definitely... You just don't have to pay anything to recruit them. That's cool. They do have upkeep. We have plenty of food at the moment, so... Just maximize the army. Up to 16. We're about to start rolling over these In four fools. Name. Enjoy. Remember your training. Yeah, quite the absolute smashing of a fight there. I'm going to continue to fight them because these are quite awesome battles. Even if they are absolutely one-sided. I wish we could just get some of these maps kind of ported on over to go to War Warhammer. Just maybe with different skin. That'd be nice. Some extra stuff on in there. This looks like a fun one, too. We've got lots of cover on the way up. Only to these guys' doom. They've got two militia, some young spears, and then three groups of slingers. Let's get them. Well, hello, Aiden. I'm glad you made it on in. We have been smashing these poor fools. Chosen of Pharaoh has been putting in some work. 
Dry weather means it's time to slay. Alright, we have so, we have so many tribesmen now. Put these guys up into the shrubbery here. We'll kind of put these guys in a bit of an interesting line to hide in the woods. Death stalks from the shadows. Grab these staff bearers and then our two Ethiopian spearmen. Well, I kind of want one of the spearmen in with the uh, warriors here in the middle for once. Here, Jet and Spearman on this side. And then Memnon. Spearman and Ethiopian slings. Where do you guys go? Or Egyptian slings. Off to the side there. We'll have the archers holding the center. We'll have these javelin men just kind of ready to slide out on the flanks. Keep them over here on this side then. Don't mind them starting the fight and taking the brunt of the damage rather than Memnon. Right then, warriors of Ethiopia, are you ready? Let's get it. And we're gonna go ahead and just grab these guys, lock them, and then just uh wait and maybe not. They're in a bit of a weird formation. Now we lock them in charge. You go after the guys in the center. Spearmen there. Did I give them the attack? Or are they charging? Just some of them? Alright, Clubbin, a bit of an interesting charge you've got going. And I thought they were locked. Only some of them are. Interesting. Push the lads up. Okay, chucking javelins. Mimnon gives some extra damage to these guys here. They actually got way too far ahead. We're gonna actually take some damage in this fight. Our normal tribesmen are not quite monsters in battle there. They're starting to flee. Can I get these guys to keep fighting harder? No. The answer is no. Mimnon, get in there. Mash in. We'll have you guys work together on these militia. Well, they are fleeing, so let's chase down this lord and get all of our javelins working Victory on the fighter there in the center. To taste. And actually, you guys switch targets. Go ahead and switch to where's my a bad bun spears? They haven't even made it into combat. Look how look how far back here they are. They're so slow. There's Mimnon as well. Some of our club been fleeing. George on in there, boys. Bunch of questions to ask. Oh. Frederick there got knocked out. And they're just mostly slinging clubs at each other for now. We'll get more actual gladiuses and blades later on. The Lord here is fleeing. Like the coward we knew he was. Turn the archers around and get everyone else just kind of finding individual targets to hunt down. We knew that what that was going to be. Mnon, you guys hunt down these long spears here. Looks like no one else really made it out. Our four warriors, look at them run. Mnon's watching. You're not going to be allowed into the barbecue later. Just as you know, we're having some excellent spread. Alright. We'll have the clubsmen stop chasing... Uh, the Lord there, just let the Slingers do their thing. You guys can chase these guys off here. Please? There we go. We'll speed it on up. What we catch, we catch, and what not, we don't. Really good hits there. Oh, no problem, you missed it. Other than Total War, odd. Uh, lots of Destiny. Destiny 2, unfortunately, has stolen much of my much of my life. Destiny, Civ, a wee bit of Dark Souls when, when the mood strikes. Elden Ring has been awesome. What about yourself there, Aiden? He's chasing down the last of these poor fools here. They, they got away quick. They put on the zooms. They did not want to be slain. Fair enough, we'll take the win. Perhaps we should have put it on normal. But we did lose a normal, I mean, a fair amount. 
If they had more troops, that'd have been a much more pitched battle. Oh, somebody. Get him again. Yeah, yeah. And there's no real reason for all of that, but we'll take it. You gotta send a message sometimes. We could go ahead and enslave this group. I think we'll go ahead and raise and kill this group. Or the extra wood and stone. I Enjoy death. My skills. Memnon the Destroyer. That's quite the face. Did you gain yourself a skill, buddy? Oh, indeed. Memnon. Several of them. Okay, so blessings of Egypt for dropping upkeep for our size territory. Or from Napata. Well, we have a bunch of Napata troops, so I'm going for Ethiopia immediately. He is the king of Ethiopia as well, so... I want all my Ethiopian troops to be maxed out. For our last point here, we can go for a lead by example, an additional point into this, or we can come on over to the Prayer to Apollo. Missile damage. More experience. Sai and Napata will be at more morale. That's not bad. Gain the expendable traits. The Ruthless Commander. We would either get the Earjet Staff Bearers or the uh, Manfit Infantry. Oh. I think we'll go for the Charge Specialization here. On the Lead by Example, we'll go ahead and max this one on out. Just as Memnon is a little bit behind most of his other soldiers for now, so we can give them the boost as they charge on in. Siege holdout time, minimum of one turn. He's getting quite powerful. Ethiopia triumphs. King of Ethiopia. Now it's on to Ayalos. Ayalosos. Yes. My poor pronunciation. Move on forward. We'll go ahead and jump into encamp. I guess we can move all the way to as far as we want and then jump into encamp stance. We venture forward. And doink. Set up camp. All right, we've got a lot of uh, war spoils there, so let's go ahead and jump into a resourceful strategist and see about getting some extra forward growth. Today you lived your life as a warrior. Tonight they will remind you why you do it. The dim hips. We assign the followers. Follow me, friends, and teach me what Follow you me, know. Follow me, friends. Perfect. In Works for Pharaoh's me. Name. I'd like to make sure the rationing scribe is not something I want. The marching drums I definitely would want. Glory is ours. I can probably spend some of the food we have accumulated. Try to get some uh, wood from someone else. Maybe even some stone. Let's get into our diplomacy real fast. We don't always have to be punching everyone. We could offer to join wars with fools. We'll get to that. All right, Troy. You have a ton of food and a nothing of anything else. That's not useful for me. Paris now has a ton of food and nothing else. And Hector's the one with the wood. But Hector, I'll I have some deals for you. you. Out. How about you give me a good 500 of this wood and you shall receive in return. He wants some bronze, does he? We just go ahead and say add to offer and then make him balance it. What do you want? That much bronze works for me. Or, or else. At once. Spin some more well-earned bronze. So we're up to 1,300 of the, the wood there. How much do we need total? I think it's 3,500. Uh, for the soldiers uh, in Irma there. Trying to figure it out. 3,000. We've got more than enough food. We may just go for the extra uh, movement capacity for the first for the moment. Loyal and brave. Grab in, or even one of the sacred stones of Athena. Extra favor gain from the Hecatomb, and we get 100 favor. Charge, extra melee attack, and Athena gives us what? Some melee defense. Missile damage and range for Apollo. Charge and melee attack for Ares. Ares is not a bad one to have a statue too. We can work with Ares and Artemis. Having the God of War and strategy on our side is probably not a bad call. 
630 of our well heart well earned wood though if we can get the extra movement that'd be great keeper of battle stories gives us a scaling melee damage for each follower so every follower gives us one percent more we have what three followers now a courageous victory yeah we've got three followers at the moment we need more gold to grab the outriders and such but we shall we'll get there where to apollo it is huh or that missile damage we've got a little bit of missiles there it wouldn't help out or that would help out quite a bit go in here and give him a prayer we can indeed jake extra line of sight and a drop to the cost of camp followers is what this will give us okay let's do it Olympians, grant me your favor if only for a moment yeah, that'll do then we could grab the sacred stone of one of the others Apollo and Athena don't tend to get along. We don't have to worry about that for this, but... Missile damage sounds great. But we have lots of really angry boys that are up there in the front line. Zeus gives our hero more hit points there. Well, let's go for Ares on the Sacred Stone. We'll get the more movement range the next time. Excuse me, I'd like to see that one. Yeah, right over here with 990 of the stone. We'll get more wood pretty easily there. Through battle. This is the provincial capital. It has, I mean, pretty normal garrison. These poor fools. Because we have two things to do. I don't agree. I think it's all. Yep. Apollo has answered our prayers. Priestesses assure us that Apollo has heard our prayers and blesses our righteous cause. No plague arrows for us. Ares has leveled on up as well. And we need to start a turn with 20 units in a single army. The Spectre of War clouds the horizon on all, direct or all directions. Increase the size of your forces further. For the battles to come, we'll tax your strength. Food, bronze, and gold. And then we need to upgrade the Horde's main building for some wood and some stone. We've been focusing a lot on some of the other stuff there. We need to start working on the hero's tent. That is, I guess, more important. All right, then. Well, could we even possibly grab some more soldiers from Pharaoh? The pot needs lots of wood. They need a very minor amounts of wood there from Sai. We'll just we'll hold off for now. We don't need them for this next battle. No, you can go on in there and fight them. That works for me. Remember your training. Yeah, they've got a few soldiers there. They've got two heroes. Lapomos, the defender protector. He's angry lad. And then Polites, who is the opposite of angry. All right, two medium spearmen. That's kind of their, well, I guess, three medium spearmen there, and then the two heroes. We've got some dangerous troops, and this is going to be a siege. Caution. Memnon instructed his forces not to linger in the same place, lest they fall prey to an organized attack. We've got a rumor monger, put them to death, and then push on. Okay. Perhaps we do want to build a battering ram? I'm not sure. I have not done enough of the sieges here. If we need you, do you all know if we need battering rams so much for this game, or do we just charge on in? Yes, irony indeed. He's an axeman. Armor piercing. Oh, we've got extra charge and extra damage. Yeah, for Pharaoh. The battle. Min, what despicable things we are, we. Homer, the original Yoda. As the attacking force, you may choose to wait. Yeah, we already know this. Dry effects work fine. Look at this battle map. Some actual proper elevation. 
doesn't tell me how much damage these towers do, but that, that's quite terrifying there. What are those extra powerful lines of sight, or is that the only line of sight because of those windows? What we'll do then is we'll attack all in one spot here. They've got one tower. We will have to be coming up and over the walls no matter what. We have lots of forces, though, so we'll crash into them with the healthy ones first, and we'll keep these guys back in reserve. That's awesome. We'll keep all the Ethiopian tribesmen here in the woods. Any more sneaky business we can get up to. Not without crossing lots of field, unfortunately. Archers. Three units of javelins as well. We hide you guys all in the woods. The foe has shited your hidden units. You're lying, you have not. How about now? Why are these guys sighted? No one else is. Alright, fair enough. These guys can't be sneaky enough. We'll have the Napata Spearmen taking all of the tower damage if we can help it. Slinger's back. Or Nefru Spearmen. Sweet. Slinger's off to the side. We'll have the Ethiopian Hunters also kind of back here. Ready to move in as the battle gets going for real. Here, we may just have too many guys hiding in the same hatch O forest there. Let me get some more guys up close to the walls. Here, over here, we'll have Memnon with this group. Right, missile troops. It's two handed lads and the more specialized infantry. We're good to go. All the boys hiding in the woods there. Push forward. Memnon. Thinking of Memnon to the walls. Ah, fools. Put you guys in on the gates. Start chucking some rocks at the uh, Lord Polites there. And all of these tribesmen. I guess they've been spotted. Those spearmen can probably handle them in a fight, can't they? Let's instead bring the javelins. The archers Your around. Ladders have a foothold on their walls. We can send these guys around. Sneaky business. I don't think we will, though. We'll keep the guys in reserve as I wanted to initially. Keep them in the forest. They're getting torn to shreds by those towers. Wow. Yeah, these towers are no joke. Many lice slain already. Ladders are at the wall, though. I gotta get them moving. Our archers are needing to move up and start firing as well. Those javelins flying. Our Mimnon and company are up on the walls just fine there. We can get them down inside the city now. They're gonna be a bit tired for their work though. Send them up to the walls on this side here. We'll have these clubmen moving on up. Keep chucking your spears at the walls there. They're not doing a lot of damage. The battlement's doing a lot to protect them. You have captured the enemy tower. Love to hear it. Doesn't do a lot for us though. Alright guys. Put down these skirmishers. We are bombarding the walls there now, but they do have pretty, at least medium armor, so that's not getting a lot of damage. Let's get all of the guys focused on the same units. Archer, come on up. He just turned and ran. Ran for dear life. One of your units has no more ammunition. That is a bit sad. Memnon, let's bring you over to deal with these spearmen. After these spearmen. Lots of guys kind of stuck on the walls in weird ways here. They will 
to easily bring that group down. I thought I told you guys to get up on the walls yourselves. Get a bit of a flank here before you get all your shreds by the losing heart. Yeah, I bet they are. That hurts. Ah, instead of attacking the gatehouse, they decided to go up on the walls. Not what I asked you guys to do. Pull on away here. This, this siege is going a little bit poorly. Turn back. Memnon. The, uh, we got some really weird pathing going on here. Helping out the enemy quite a bit. Your warriors are attacking the gates. Lovely. What I asked him to do. Alright, the enemy lord is breaking, which is awesome. At least one of the two. Get in there, Memnon. Alright, those guys are broken. Group of spearmen is broken. Keep charging through. The Achaeans shall fall. Jumping up over the walls there. Give him the axe. You are about to capture the gates. Love to hear it. Get all guys outside the walls there firing on those militia. Memnon charged down these militia in the center, and these Ethiopian spearmen got their own targets. Lovely, lovely. Arrow infantry, you guys get the extra buff. And we've got him fleeing. You have captured the gates. Got the guys broken up on the walls. Perfect. Let's bring them on down now. Can you give the buff to yourself, Mendon. You cannot. I'll give it to these guys over here then. Seems to, there we go. Not the right click that actually activates it. The enemy is trying to capture the gates. All right, they're shattering. Move some of our warriors through. These guys are broken here. Archers, we're going to bring you up and around. You can fire on these slings. Victory. Is close enough to taste. It indeed is. Let's bring these javelin men inside. You guys can hunt down this group and Memnon get charging towards the Achaean slingers. Everyone else charging after this group of slingers here. Everyone else is fleeing for dear life. We'll have these spearmen coming on in to claim the point. While their lord is over here like a coward. Defender protector. Doesn't seem like it. Get that extra charge for those ear jet. Just walked up and bumped him. You got sent flying. Yes, that's definitely how physics works. Beat them up. The slingers don't want to fight at all. There's the victory. We lost a few in that battle, but. Now we kind of know how the sieges work quite a bit more there. Those towers do all of the damage. You're about to get styled on again. Yeah, yeah. And through the tummy. One for good measure. Elepimos. Defeated. We lost 500 in the fight to their 1,000. Getting a good bit of gold, bronze, and food. Goody, goody. We definitely need wood and stone both. Let's go ahead and go for... Yeah, we'll go for pushing on. Raise and kill. They all get put to the sword. We have the sapper trait now, which gives us even more morale in our siege battles. More movement range, too. Rhodes has been vanquished. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wouldn't know how that feels. All of our active abilities are up on the side here, so we have King of Ethiopia. Oh, this is everything that's going on at the moment, so we are a rising strategic threat since we're exploding things randomly. Protector of cities. 
Oh, the irony. These cities have been well protected, don't you know? Compared to Apollo, gives us a little bit more cost reduction to camp followers. That's not a bad one. We've got a good bit of food now, so we can maybe get, with a wee bit of diplomacy, some more stone. He really needs stone. Tropian needs stone. Everyone's hurting for stone at the moment. Well, absolutely everyone. Okay, so we're going to get none out of anyone else. We're going to have to do some more attacking to get that done. Well then, where do we go after next? We come take down the dolphins? And then sail on over to the Achaeans themselves? We can take a quick look at... Our known factions here. Where is that tab hiding for me? There it is. We are already at war with these guys, so that kind of does incentivize us to come on down that way. Tropian, I believe, is also one of the Achaean armies, so Nosos, Tropian, and Anamalesa. I think Tropian is fighting Sarpanen over here. So they should be wiped out. That's the, his starting enemy. But yeah, we'll, we'll head on down this direction towards the Dolphin, lads. All right, Cult of the Dolphin, bring it. They can come on and bring war to the Achaeans. With me, men. Set up Get into our encampment stance. And then see about. I guess waiting on everything else. Triumphs. And we're already got uh, as many of the followers that we really can. Dropping the enemy hero health to half is awesome, but it does cost 40 every time you do it. 40 gold, that is, so I'm not sure we will. I think we do want the, the ship right sooner or later here to help us get across the sea faster. Same time, I definitely want... We just need a little bit of stone here. Perhaps we can get some out of someone. People we're currently at war with, probably not. Uh, Nosos, most likely not as well, since they are unfriendly, but we can try. We might as well try talking. For what it's worth. I mean, I agree. Hey, you give me like 50 stone. Ooh. And I'll give you all you want's wood. Gross. Let's add it, just see what he wants. Oh. Why not just make it work then? What's wrong with you? What what is happening here? I'm being swindled. go try again. 50 of this for maybe, what, 75 bronze? I don't mind giving you... Minus 2% no matter what. He wants a lot of bronze. You know what's not happening? Well, I guess we can just go punch it out of him if we really need to. We don't need this much stone, though. We drop this down. Wow. You want a lot of bronze, buddy. We just need up to 900, correct? further or not you are a swindler my good sir we'll take it very well we'll be there to steal it back later don't you worry now we should be able to then build the building son of the dawn ah, it is 990 how unfortunate so it is 720 for the hero's tent we could probably go for this instead and that's what we will do Lycia needs everything. Perhaps they just really like to trade. Uh, Paris has the most May wood to trade here, so let's go ahead and grab a single barter. Hopes. I need... I guess I should have remembered how much I need. Pharaoh oh, curses. Pleased, servant of Egypt. 16, 20. So we have... We just need about 100. That's no problem. I anticipate great progress will be made today. Wow. Launch the mouse. We'll take 100. And then what do you want for it? How about anything but stone? How about anything but stone? I shall give you bronze. I got plenty of this. Probably not 850. That seems like a bit much. 60... 
How about instead of 80, we give you 75? How about that? Sounds good. That there we are. Now maybe we can actually build something. After all that haggling. What is going on here? Population points. Okay, two more turns then. We've been swindled twice. Yes, my Jedi Survivor aren't weird. I very much enjoyed the first uh, Jedi. Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. The, the very first one they released that Respawn did make. I wish they were making a Titanfall 3 and not spending their time on other projects, but eh, such is the way. This I can, do. On, can we bring you down? I would like to get a bit more replenishment. We're going to move down as far as we can in Lindos here. We march on. And then we'll jump into an encampment. Get moving down towards these guys. Arcasia. Son of Tithonas. And then, yeah, well, I think we'll keep saving on these guys. We want the Kerma soldiers as, as fast as we can. Although we do need troops from Napata as well. King of Ethiopia. I think we wait, though. Marching drums are going to cost... These cost population surplus as well, do they? Four total? Ah, well, that would make sense as to why we're not going to do that then. Yeah, let's swing on into Pharaoh's Servant and grab some more Napata troops. Welcome, lads. Heed me. Wealthy men from far and wide. Wealthy men from far and wide. Memnon calls for your aid. Got three javelin men and some slings. Let me just go for some more tribesmen. I'm not going to do any kind of merging together. I want them to just keep gaining more rank. Two-handed spears are good against large units, which we haven't really come up against just yet. Who knows? The dolphin lads might be cavalrymen. Master cavalrymen. Armor piercing. That's pretty good to have. So let's grab a couple, or the, I guess the single more javelin than we have, and then just some more front line. For my kinsmen. Brave warriors of. Let's grab one more. Fill the army out. Give us that completed uh, quest there. If 150 more gold to Lycia in a single trade. Allies on distant shores. For mighty Zeus ordained friends along the path for godlike Aethiops, lest their strength falter. One does well to cultivate friendships, especially in foreign lands. The Egyptians speak of a great merchant king named Sarpedon, who has cultivated trade agreements as far south as Memphis and the Mesopotamian Susa. As an ally of the House of Troy, Lycian ruler will surely welcome a gesture of friendship from Ethiopia, and is in time bound to return the favor. We get Lycian friendship, which will help our construction cost, our horde growth, and then give us administration effic uh, efficiency. We're enacting royal decree, so is that extra 100% to research rate? Sounds pretty nice. Our rank swell. It Sadly, we don't get any more wood, but we are actually gaining some of that per turn, so we'll make it happen. Evidently, the Danans will wage war at any stage, even if Menelaus of Sparta was to get Fair Helen back. His allies would find another pretext to bring doom and slaughter across the Aegean before the gates of Troy. Uh, the major question, then, concerns where exactly you stand. You either support the Trojan to declare more no support, or decide later. What do you think, chat? Do we support the Trojans? Are we being a good guy, a good guy, uh, Memnon, or do we bring a war to the Trojans? Hidden treachery, huh? Sounds like a bad thing. Do we support Troy? Do we support no one? Or decide later? Trojan Pillar. Well, with the uh, vote of nothing, we will go ahead and support the Trojans, as we were supposed to. Dolphin lads must fall. 
This will give us lots of diplomatic relations with the uh, the three nations of Troy that we are aware of. I think this works for all of them, and not just Paris, Hector, and Priam. Uh, but perhaps... Of noble heart. Yep, takes a lot of uh, stuff to get that one on up. Hero's Tent, I would love to grab, but we'll get that when we finish off the fools down here in Arcasia. Come on out of Ready Stance and get on across the sea here. No replenishment available. We get replenishment everywhere, thankfully, due to the uh, camp followers. So we can just kind of scoot across the sea here. The sea beckons. Take no attrition. And do we get aggressive and take a march stance? We don't know what's here in Arcasia, so I think that better to err on the side of caution for now. Decide later, Aiden says. Listen, it's too late. We've already thrown in with Troy. It's time to kneecap all the Achaeans. In defense of Troy. All right, let's come on over to Arcasia here and see what's going on. Looks like these are cliffs. We'd have to go around the island here. I didn't notice that until just now. Sail all the way around the island. He's got 11 lads in there. He's wearing a lion on his head. That will not work. Bidiptos. Definitely pronounced that wrong, but you are a warlord commander and have some shielded clubmen. 65 armor. How much is that in comparison to most? Actually, those guys are pretty heavily armored. Memnon's Servant at 10. Egypt. 10 armor. That's doing it. Loyal kinsman. Can you build even out on the ocean? That would be quite cool. We need... Yeah, we wasted a lot of our uh, points there. I should have taken a look. The fact that it spent four of our population surplus getting the Sacred Stone of Ares, uh, worth it? Maybe not. Maybe not. We've got a thousand food now. It'd be a shame if we didn't spend some of it. Does anyone need food? Pretty much no one. This guy doesn't need any... any wood. I'm happy to claim that from you. I don't expect much from our meeting. Well, that's fine. Me neither. Just making, maybe making deals with the Achaeans is a bad call. Didn't like that we released troops of Rhodes. Well, we could have butchered them, but they give us lots of gold. No alliances or quick deals to be made here. Such is the way. Right, also is all of the food. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't think there's much we could get done. I'm sure we have useful things to say to each other. We probably do. Now yeah, we won't. We've got a lot of food. We'll use it later on here. Definitely need to. Uh, definitely need it soon. What was that? Oh no. Glitch in the Matrix. Alright, Memnon. Protector. The siege. Remember your this time we will go ahead and build some siege equipment. We uh, do have Ares on side, at the very least here. And we are cautious, rumor mongering, and putting them to the death. He's got several armored units and a lot of slings this time, so we will be in trouble until we close the gap. Once we do, though, it's pretty well game over for the enemy. Go ahead and build up some battering rams. Two just so we have them, and then we'll go ahead and wait. Auto resolve. Everyone would die. Perhaps not. We'll the field continue the battle. siege and wait things out for a bit. Perhaps now we, we go in and grab. In we do need to give a gift to Lycia, don't we? 150 gold in one go. Issuing a decree. We're almost done with that one. And upgrade the horde building. We have been neglecting our missions, just been slaughtering everything we can. All right, where is Lycia then? Hello, good sir. Would you like some we gold? We will make a sacrifice to honor my divine father. Then we talk. Okay. Here is a gift. I, does this count as a gift? 
Oh, what do you have to give them this money and then it not count? I'm gonna double check. Is there a way to give a gift in specific or is it just give them money? Break alliance, single barter, barter agreement. I think that's probably the way. 50. Give him the gold. And Lycia is our friends. A pleasing outcome. Yes, Pharaoh wishes it. So that's what we do. Ah, oh, there it is. Lycia and friendship. More horde growth and more administration. Efficiency there, so Royal Decree kicks off next turn. Time to awesome to see. Right then, I think that's one more turn. We'll have much food to use later on. These turns are quite quick. I do I do appreciate that about this one. Also, they sally on out to face us. An interesting strategy. We'll have to see how it pays off for them. They do once again have two heroes here. Got some medium weight axemen and then a whole bunch of slingers. Okay, I don't think this is going to go nearly as well for them as they think. We've got a nice, couple nice choke points here to kind of funnel them through. And we can sneak up on the other side there. Let's get this thing started. missions. We'll get back to those in a moment. They have that their reinforcements. What is this? Yeah, that is their reinforcements. They're coming in from that side there. That's fine. So are there actually any kind of... Uh... Yes, it's right over here. Here's what we'll do. They're attacking us. We'll have to see if they, if they all fall back to kind of replenish or like sit there all together. Then we'll kind of rush over at them, so maybe we want to set up in this front area here at the very least and have the spearmen, that crew infantry, setting up and ready to go. See them at all. That's a bit unfortunate. Slings behind. Everyone else has the Vanguard deploy, which is incredible. These tribes have been in the woods here. I am going to put some Ethiopian spearmen. Not a lot of sneaky maneuvers on this other side here. Which is interesting because I thought it was showing them off quite about. I think it's just all on this side. It was a bit of a backwards look. Hmm. This one's going to be tough. Spears, let's go ahead and have the archers up front here. And the hunters in front of them. He's ever ready. Just like the wood elves. Tribesmen. This is going to be one of the spookier battles here. Spears together. These missile troops together so I know who's already deployed. Sword mode for now. We'll put you guys in the group so I know who is not able to vanguard deploy here. Memnon, probably a good idea to stay in the woods there. Put some of these other tribesmen off on the side. To again, kind of keep them worried about this other side instead of going after the guys that are sneaking in the woods. Our visible troops. And our other tribesmen here. Put them in the back. Sharp and deadly. Staff bearers as well. Okay, we'll have to see how the enemy deploys, and then that'll definitely determine our entire rest of our battle strategy here. Ethiopian hunters. Make sure you guys are all as one group there. These spearmen can kind of take the position in between. Lots of hiding. Let's get this battle started. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Yes, when? Oh, right away. Okay. Those are instant reinforcements. Their favorite kind. Yep, we're going to push up then. And force them to come on over. Our clubmen are going to have to hold the line for a bit. And then we should be able to deal with them quite well there. Unless they decide to corner up, even on defense. Welcome, Achaeans, to your doom. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're all gonna corner up. Interesting. What are the things you get with some of the uh, later? Look, they are moving forwards. So they're gonna all kind of push this way, which makes sense. They don't want to charge over where all of our lads are being sneaky. The AI probably knows at this point we attack from the woods quite often. That's fine. Come on over. Once you do get closer, it's game over. Be back at normal speed. Can we rotate these guys? They're all still in the woods. No, no, no such luck. Can move them manually though. Move everyone in the woods there. That bit of shrubbery. Are you really gonna go take the hill? Even though you attacked me. This hill is mine. There are many like it. Really. All right. Well, let's disrupt this formation then. Strategy is going to change for them almost immediately as soon as they see these other units. Men, two units of tribesmen behind the spears and these other tribesmen on the other side there. It's a bit of a choke point, so we'll keep them back as reserves. Everyone else up. A lot of Achaean spear or slingers there, so we have to keep that in mind. Keep them in with the mode they're in, just fine. Our guys will start disappearing pretty quickly. I am tempted to have them walk. Yeah, they're just gonna hang out on the hill. Bold strategy. And now we move in. And now we move in, go get those spearmen there. They've got heavy armor. You can break through it pretty well there. Archers trade very well with slings. Ethiopian spearmen go hunt down those Achaean slingers. Uh, you go stop those young spears if you can there. The rest of these boys need to move over quickly. Those rocks flying. Switch them to their two-handed mode. Let them charge in and do as much damage as they can. Pile in. Get the rest of our tribes then moving, try to move past. Memnon can charge right on in. Let's go ahead and get some extra charge bonus for this guy here. Has sighted your hidden units. They have indeed, haven't they? They went into the charge. Go ahead and switch that weapon over to the shields. The Duat awaits. Come fight Memnon, coward. Go. Bring these guys up. The javelins, go ahead and push them back. You guys go hunt down these uh, different groups of slings. Doing a very good job slaying the archers. Alright, Memnon push you through. Slings are running. Our clubsmen, our clubmen are losing that fight. Same thing with our spears here. But luckily they will just flee. We'll get them back. Memnon's men don't quite fight to the bitter end. Your warriors are losing heart. That's fine, they'll fight harder. Or they'll be slain. Put these javelins down here. Everyone work together on those boys, and I think we should have the main body sorted out. Your warriors have been routed. That's fine. Such is the way sometimes. We'll move everyone as one big death ball to finish off the last army here. We do have to try to chase down these guys, though, because anyone we don't slay will retreat back in the walls. Ooh, run, slings. 
Hey, you guys too. Try to disengage. Everyone else is being chased off quite well. I'm going to catch these Achaean Slingers here. Uh, you come on around. Same thing with these Javelins. Let's bring these Javelins after Philip at ease. They're having a hard time fleeing. Nope. Nubis does not judge you. Run. By Ares, your warriors are running. Give me the units that are rallying. Perfect. Chase these spearmen down. We need someone at least stopping that, that group. Drivesmen, run. You have ones are starting to let fly now. Alright, there's only 26 of them left, but they should still survive. Victory is close awesome enough looking to shields, taste. aren't they? Almost like a tortoise shell. And there's the victory. A whole bunch of javelins finishes things off. Oki sticks for the win. But we do have a lot of these guys to hunt down, so let's finish off as many of them as we can. We've got, luckily, the Ethiopians are very fast. Light armor, and we can move One very quickly. One of your units has no more ammunition. Oh, if you have no ammunition, get in there and uh, use your hands. They do be ready to be for everyone. Get in there. No one flees. Any of them get away. You guys are all losing money. No cookies for anyone. Memnon, you turn and deal with these spearmen here. Give these guys a bit more damage. We can speed things up. Uh, you turn and help out with Philippides there. Definitely not his name. Keep moving. That's like the two slingers that are just going to stand there. <laughs> They've given up. Stab. That was the end for them. A couple guys left over here. Getting run up on. That was quick. And battle. Another awesome victory. Only 271 losses for uh, Memnon there. So 98 kills going to himself. The don't let him hit you like that. Oh, I guess he gets to live. You're lucky. You let them live in, inter in return. Now we're going to go ahead and take them on. More warriors. We have issued our first decree quite successfully. There you are. People are eager to follow our orders. Food and wood. And the world's decree issued was nature's bounty. So more horde growth for all of our armies. And now the Warrior King needs five camp followers. The worthy flock to God like Memnon, he who had seen the sun rise and set on many a strange shore. From the blessed spring of the Great River to the eastern lands of Mesopotamia, men of renown have heard your might and support your quest to repel Achaean aggression at Rins Troy. Granted, not all those who would render aid carry blades. But to a savvy ruler, a wise man's word is often worth more than bronze. Five camp followers gives us a heap of wood, bronze, and stone, and then some bonus experience. Gained a Scytheronian pelt. Appeared to the enemy as a Scytheronian lion. Appear to them as Zeus's son. More casualty replenishment rate for our heroes. All of our units then, and then more motivation. We like motivation. Time to test our skill. Time to test our skill indeed. Okay, so it's time to change our bodyguard. We're going to go for that before anything else. Do we want the Jet Staff Bears, which are going to be a two-handed club unit? We've got one of these currently. Or the Manfit Infantry here. It's a light class frontline unit there. Instead of damage, it's either basically damage or staying power. Don't quite have. They, just, they still have the bonus versus large, but they don't have any armor piercing. These guys have a no armor piercing, but a lot more damage. And some charge bonus. What do you all think? Your jet staff bears or manfit infantry? Manfit also would give us a shield and a bit more armor.
Man Fit or the Ear Jet. I am leaning more towards the Ear Jet Staff Bearers here, just for the sheer damage. We've got lots of frontline lads. Melee Defense and Armor. Or more Armor Piercing and Battle Speed, which is how fast they swing their weapon. Jake says the Manfit. Or the shields. Okay, that I understand. We can go for it. Got one vote for the Manfit. I think I'll have to do it. Welcome, lads. Shields and spears it is. Come on over to his equipment, and he has the new infantry, and the pelt has already been equipped. Good business. We actually didn't gain any skills from that battle. Interestingly enough, got more proper infantry then, and now we can have ourselves a possibly an auto resolve against uh, Arcasia. Possibly, auto resolve would get our lads killed. Really, towers are dangerous, but I think we've got this one. Let's quickly continue to see if we can't afford any of the other camp followers. Could just go for the shipwreck real quick. That still wouldn't be five followers, though. Revealing all enemy units would be great. And the Egyptian assassin. We would still have to pay 40 for it every time we used him. So we will leave these followers off for now. Fight with honor. Some of these other ones we're going to have to grab. Some of the loyalty to the king and such. Where was... One of the workers, resilience, Iron's wisdom. Ah, uh, there we go. The route to the upper kingdom gives you the Egyptian followers and then unlocks the ter territory of Thebes. They're just kind of scattered in there. You got to find them. The army of greater Ethiopia gives us the Ethiopians and then the Ethiopian ter territory of Yeha. We should probably check and see which one we want next, huh? Pharaoh's Servant. So Yaha here would give us the Archers of Wat and the Magi Warriors, which are probably pretty awesome. 170 range is really solid. Peter's Will, decent melee combatant. Yeah, they're not bad in melee at all. 40 and 38. Almost a normal unit. Thieves was the other one we could get to, which was the Sine Chariots, the Noctu uh, Infantry, and then the Egyptian Archers which actually have a little bit more missile strength. These guys cost a ton of food. They have a bonus versus spearmen, do they? That's good to know. Yeah, these Egyptian uh, soldiers here aren't bad coming from thieves. Memphis would give us the Manfit infantry. That's who these guys are then. Okay. Probably would have been more accurate to go for the club bearers then. Just because they're from Ethiopia, but that's fine. Kanan would give us the Spear Chariots and the Henku Guards. Philistine Swordsmen. And then the Shirted Warriors and Elamite Stone Slingers. Want to see what that ability was. Encourage. Not a bad one at all. But yeah, I think Yehaz is not a bad one to go for next. Thebes is also pretty good for the Chariots. Chariots would be something that would put us a... And shoulders above the enemy for mobility, so I think Thieves will be the one we go for. Even though I wanted to finish off Ethiopia, do we get any kind of bonuses for completing one of the provinces here? Doesn't look like it. Just the option to call those reinforcements. With pride and valor. Okay, so we can start working towards Yeeha or Yeeha. Definitely not. It's not pronounced Yeeha. I can guarantee you. Cost to Egyptian units and then. Territory of Thebes. What are those other Egyptian? Scribe. Cook. Upkeep sounds nice. And then the Lotus Merchant. Sieging settlements grants an action that disables enemy... Disables enemy towers. Let's give the enemy Lotus. Stop, stop fighting. Right away. Yeah, let's go for Pharaoh's Gesture. down to the route to the upper kingdom 
I'd love some more soldiers. Extra gold per turn also sounds nice. Let's grab the gold. We'll come back for the extra troops. Time to test our skill. Indeed. Alright, dolphin lads, let's go ahead and start our deployment and get this battle rolling. Looks like they've only got one tower over there. Same thing on the side. I think we'll attack from over here then. These things count as towers as well. That's unfortunate. This gate here is actually pretty lightly defended if we're able to sneak up on it. May get shot at on the way in, but this is actually the, the least defended spot in the wall. Go for it. Uh, we'll have the hunters up front here. Take the brunt of the damage. Our archer core. All of the well healed Ethiopian troops. Looks like you can only hold, hide so many soldiers in the, the woods there. Or any of the shrubs. Which I guess does make sense. Grab the rest of you. Bring you over here into these. These two aren't hiding at all. That's fine. Let's bring them. We can spread out a little bit more here. It's only that the, all of the towers, I think, do automatically start firing, so they don't have to have defenders up on them in order for them to work. The foe has shited your oh, I see, so it's, it's to do with more than just that, is it? Okay. Barrow infantry with the, the battering ram. Pretty awesome. Ready to go. Got our staff bearers and our spearmen. We may have them attack a different portion of the city entirely. The defenders are already very well spread. They're very spread thin, so we can kind of take full advantage of that. Let's just have these normal spearmen over there, and we'll have the staff bearers with Memnon. Right. Oh, Memnon no longer has Vanguard. Ooh, I think we definitely don't want him with the Egyptian soldiers going forward here. The Egyptians don't get Vanguard deployment. They look quite cool, though. Got the leaf spears there. Yeah, no, they've, they've got it. Let's go ahead and grab the... Fortunately, the Memnon is going to be back here in the back. Cause he's going to get shot at. Get prime target. Alright, so you guys all together. These, sling these slingers are the ones holding the ram? Probably not. Very well. Yeah, probably not. Let's keep you with the greater army here, and then we'll have one of these other tribesmen just add themselves to the battering ram. That makes far more sense there. The Alright. Then I guess you three is one here. Everyone that's out here that's not invisible, that is. Battle begin. We're going to want to move up and take the walls quickly, then. These three move in and get up on those walls as fast as you can. Javelin men and archers. All of you go throw everything you have at Lycomedes there. Sorry, Lycomedes. Your time is nigh. Get them all there. You guys, since you are visible, let's go ahead and charge out. You do have some light shields. Get up these walls as well. In charge of the lads. Go ahead and take out these Achaean slingers if you can. Get shot at as well. Bring them in. Your hero is under attack. He is. He gets slain by a tower. I'm going to be very sad. Those towers are focusing him down. Run, Memnon. Your ladders have a foothold on their walls. They do indeed. The boys are pouring on up. For Sigmar. Something similar. We have all of the lads up on the walls. The javelins are flying in at an angle there. Hopefully be getting around some of those shields. Hitting in on the side of the area that can actually be hit. 
and on. Time for you to get on up. Give these lads here a bit more damage. You are about to capture the gates. You deal with Lycomedes. Everyone else is fleeing. Let's bring these tribesmen on over. We just, just, what are you guys doing? Just get up the ladders, please. That'd be great. Forming on down like ants. Oh, Lycomedes having a really bad time. Oh, you're getting shot at still, so let's get you up on these ladders here. We'll take up some of your... A bigger, but that'll be fine. We can try to force these guys to attack Memnon. Can we? Maybe not. I tried to. Invalid targets enemies. I thought it was. These spearmen set up in the city here. Attacking the gates. One into this square as well. Looks like most of the enemies fleeing. Gates are gonna hit with the ram now. Forty percent damage. Like Mides is down to a hundred men there. Something he definitely didn't expect. Well, men, you go ahead and fight like Mides. He's already taken a lot of damage. The enemy gates have been destroyed. Gates are down. Send in the boys. Who are incredibly injured. Stood right there and took the brunt of most of those towers. They're going to go ahead and flee, most likely. Bring the slings inside. These guys free really bring down these skirmishers. Crashing into those slingers there. They're going to go ahead and retreat. I don't know if that's going to do it for you. As soon as they do form up, we'll, we'll send them up into the settlement at large there. Went over and fight. And get through that gate nice and slow. Form up. No one on the walls is safe there. I thought I told you slings to get inside. They don't listen all that well. As we have learned. All tribesmen go get like Amides. Memnon's name. Take this city square. You guys all move back to the back there. You have lost them your siege equipment. Lost my siege equipment. Or more likely that the gates exploded. Surely those are the exact same things. Our warriors get on these long spears next. Those young spears, rather. Be the slain. Javelins move on up to the next group. Archers help out with these young spears here. I think we've got them. Just routing the rest of these poor fools. You keep chasing Lycomedes down. Memnon, let's keep moving up this side here. Give some extra damage to these lads. In and out of hiding back here in the back. You guys walking, right? Oh, they decided not to keep moving forward. Keep being sneaky. No reason to run. You guys come up the hill that way. All sorts of sparks going off over here. This dude did a, did a roll. No one even hit him. Got it broken. Just finishing off the last of these poor fools. Move in. Slow march internal into the city. Everyone inside not taking damage, please. That'd be awesome. They're fleeing. Don't have to worry about them at all. Moving through and mopping them up now. The enemy is trying to capture the gates. Where at? All oh, these guys are back? Back, look at them. Bravery. These guys back here keep fading in and out of existence and that's causing all sorts of problems. You guys go ahead and 
charge in. Everyone, I guess, decided their orders weren't worth worth following. That's gonna make things a little bit more bloody for us here. Move them on around. Staff bear should rip through those those militia there, no problem. But everyone else is lagging behind a bit. There we go. Now let's get on these Achaean slingers. Spearmen were ready, but I think that's uh, just about wrap it up as the horde of Ethiopians comes on up the front. And most of these guys' leadership is already pretty well wavering. Come tearing around the corner there. Just a nightmare sight. You will soon hold the enemy's victory point. Oh, whoops. That was, that was one of the enemies. Charge in. They just run past them. So many tribesmen coming up the, the street there. Yeah, that's the victory. Dolphin cult annihilated. Can't trust them anyway. Yeah. Give him a kick. You thought you could escape? Not this time, buddy. Commander and champion defeated with the grip of golds, bronze, and some food. We shall go ahead and I think we'll take the extra casualty replenishment this time and the extra horde growth as well. Almost doubles your uh, overall output though. Raised and slave, welcome to becoming Egyptians. You're welcome. Never thought. I thought this would be the way you join. All right, now we go ahead and upgrade Memnon's hero tent. He's fine exactly where he's at. We've destroyed the city. Spartans are going to start probably reclaiming some of these cities since um, Menelaus has the ability to colonize far off places for free. Well, not for free, but he can just colonize stuff even if he's nowhere near it. So a lot of these places might start popping up as a Spartan soon. Okay, well, the tent's about to be upgraded there. We have a lot of food laying around. Love to trade some of it off. Anyone have anything they wouldn't know? Troy is really flush with food. Unfortunately, they all are. Except for Lycia, perfect. But hello, Sopinen. I am sure our discourse will bear fruit. Oh, I have no doubt. You're going to give me 3,000 wood there and let's see what you want in return i have a lot of food let's offer you four thousand food we'll drop it down to a negative 17 and then we can go for perhaps 200 bronze so we want a lot more 500 bronze yeah see i'm not willing to give you much more than that let's go ahead and jump this up to maybe five thousand food six thousand And then yeah, let's keep going, increasing the amount of food we give. That'll do. Is that worth it? Eh, maybe. I put a bronze and six thousand food for three thousand wood. I'm doing business with you, Sarpedon. A pleasing outcome, especially for you. Right, we're back on out of there. No longer lush with food, but now. Now we can recruit soldiers from Ethiopia. Of noble hearts. Not Napata, the Kerman troops there. So we get actually the Ethiopian javelinmen, the Ethiopian archers, and the Urchet staff bearers. Which are going to cost an upkeep of bronze. We'll have to keep that in mind. They are a bit more elite. Welcome, lads. Ne ne watch next turn. It gives me the, the quest for getting uh, the Kerma soldiers in. Heroes can be found in every corner of the earth. But of course they can. Right, and now it's time to trade out some of these troops here. Some of these guys are going to start getting merged up. Let's see. Probably just some of these tribesmen, so we'll grab these two here. Merge them together. My honor these two are weakened. We'll merge them as one as well there. 
king of Ethiopia. That looks pretty good. How many more troops do we get for that? I think it's just three. Ethiopian hunters are pretty solid. Or the javelin men, I mean. Quite a bit better than the hunters. 17 as opposed to 30 missile strength. They don't have nearly as much range is the only issue there. Will be that is the trade-off. We'll grab these archers. We can get two units of archers, huh? That's the way, then. Two units of archers, and... We'll combine up some more of these, uh... Tribesmen here. Servant of Egypt. What just happened? Did that delete the unit even though... No, it didn't. It just took out the guys we were currently recruiting. In defense of Troy. Loyal kinsman. Go. In ah, troops out. Name. And then these guys Loyal get food, sadly. They are... Elite, but we can't do much about it. We'll get in the two archers and then the ear jet staff bearers. Greatly increasing our overall military capacity here and military strength. But increasing the amount of bronze we're spending per turn. We'll have to keep that in mind. Ethiopia triumphs. Alright, well let's go ahead and Defender of Troy. In the turn then. Is there any kind of quick deals we can get to before we do? Lycia is almost willing to have a non-aggression. So far nothing. We'll start our invasion down here of the pools on this island next. And that'll be the turn. My knowledge grows. Okay, so we need to upgrade our horde army, the one that's already been completed there. We get 750 food, or wood, and 500 stone. The Ares cult has been leveled down. That's what we've been forgetting to do this whole time, is the Divine Will. Ah, that makes sense. Let's come on into where we were with Ares, I believe. He's already only, only got 40 at the moment, which is neglected. Get my Hecatomb for 600 gold. I do like dropping the morale of enemy units there. A feast to honor Hecatomb the it boss. is. Extra generated rage, and then we'll come on back over to Athena. Let me just raid with Apollo once more there. Their line of sight. Prayer to Zeus is going to give us more diplomatic agreements, except for barters. Slingers gain in courage. One to horde growth. Ambush success, and then morale to shielded units. I think we'll go for a prayer to Aphrodite for the extra horde growth. Gods of Olympus! Hear my call. Yeah, our cult leveled down. That's just unfortunately the way I should have been passing the food out to the gods before now. And we'll keep that in mind going forward here. This lad would like to offer me food for some stone. That's a bad deal. He also would like to give me some wood for some stone. I think we'll go ahead and pass on that one, bud. Everybody has answered our prayers, and we need to now construct an altar. We already have. Does that even give us anything? Is that just a tutorial? Must be a tutorial. Unlock Medjidio. Issue the Canaanite Brothers Royal Decree. Okay, well, where is the Canaanite Brothers at? Master Arbors, Glory Shrine, Marching Drills. Where are you guys hiding? Ah, down here in the stone section. A long ways down. Let's finish the Master Jewelers, and then we can start working down towards the Hainan Brotherhood. Majito. What does Majito give us? This is the one with the hoop shoe, which are axe and shield infantry. And the Philistine swordsman. Resistant to flanking, and they're a turtle unit, so they're really tanky. We get two very tanky units from 
from a uh, from a from a Gito, then all right then let's get out to the sea actually we will probably go ahead and take a quick quick five ten minute break here while i go grab some water and just kind of refresh for a moment we'll get right back to this oh that's an awesome effect it kind of burns away the map i, I probably should, i probably was missing that before but seen it this time that was that's incredible the small things slowly on over towards this other island here i'd like to avoid taking any deep sea attrition short upgrading the ethiopian buildings here we just need to land to actually put in the master trainer more range that must be why their range is actually lower to start there to kind of compensate that would make sense all right let's come on in and we'll upgrade the man feet infantry a little bit more here we've already got them more melee defense or armor that's not all that useful actually let's go for the extra prayer to apollo and i think this is what you were talking about before it wasn't actually i wasn't actually the skill you were talking about it was the or i'm sorry it wasn't the prayer in the actual god section it was actually the skill you were making so we'll go for the prayer to apollo here for that extra missile damage for all of the missile units business and we will go ahead and take a quick break and i'll catch y'all back in a moment
Right then, everyone, we're back. Sound off in the chat if you're here. I'd like to know who's all hanging out. Again, I appreciate y'all so much. We had, looks like we had five concurrent. We had up to, up to eight or nine earlier, which was pretty incredible. Definitely glad y'all made it. Storm's protector. Especially for my very mediocre campaign of uh, Memnon here. We're doing what we can, but man, we're learning on the fly. Let's go ahead and take off these cameras while we can. We haven't really run into the, any issues because we are off just destroying everything. But just for the sake of it, we'll flip through here as fast as we can. Next time, we'll make sure this is done in advance. We all have to deal with that. A lot of clicky sounds. Gross. All right. We have to kind of move across no man's land here to figure out what's going on. We have no more movement. If we jump into March, how much further can we go? All the way into the, the deep here. I like being risky. But there's no telling where the enemy armies are. Let's not go into March. We'll be be clever with it. 7,000 food. Make sure we have all of our divine will. Pass out to who we need to. We do another prayer towards uh, Ares there. Drops enemy morale further, but let's wait till we are a little bit closer to actually being close to closer to being into enemy range, and then we'll we'll kick that one on off. And turn. Initiate a hecatomb. Well, about time. Okay, let's come on over. Should be able to it's a bit unfortunate we can't see what's going on but for now we deal i think what we'll actually do before we activate this is we'll come on over and ooh, wrong button there resourceful strategist we'll grab the canaanite shipwright for a thousand wood that way we can move further on the ocean there get us around greece a little bit easier come on through and we reveal nothing there is a city around the corner, though, so let's move up and around. To the seas. Well, hello, Cetea. Being Not defended possible. by Diopetes. Can't really see what he's rolling with, but he is mustering. He's got seven troops at the moment. This is a fairly well-defended city here. Although, now that I'm looking at it, these are same defenders as normal. I'm not so concerned, though. This should be an easy, easy, easy win. Memnon is crazy at this point. In defense of Prime. A little bit further up. In defense of Priam. Yeah, the two characters that I like most from the Iliad are Achilles and Hector. Who just so happen to uh, hate each other most of all. Let's grab the prayer to Ares, or Ares now. That way, in case we do jump into a battle, does that cost more, dude? 630. Olympians, they will have way less uh, leadership with the hit to 5% plus 10%, so I should be 15% total, because that's how math works. Memnon. All right, Memnon, can we grab any more troops from uh, Arrow? We don't really need any, though, so we'll hold off for now. And in the turn. Oh, we've got someone embedding into the army now. Fair enough, our Master Jeweler's Decree has been issued. May the treasures of our craftsmen shine resplendent like the very chariot of Helios. Indeed. Darius has answered our prayer, and now it's time to get smashing. Of noble hearts. Time to test yes, quite. Our yeah, we don't really need the rams. It just kind of slows us down. They do get through the gates, but it takes a long time, and whoever is on those battering rams is guaranteed to be uh, slain pretty much to a man there, so... Let's go ahead and charge on in. These actually are a bit better defended. They've got some militia there. Morale is 34 as opposed to our 46. Those guys have the similar, very similar armor to ourselves at 10. I think we got it. Auto Resolve says we would have a Cadmian victory, which I guess is the their version of a Pyrrhic. No, I think not. Oh, Pharaoh. Yuppities. He does look quite concerned, as you should be. Dry. Yeah, we have a lot of archers. We should probably keep it at dry weather. Although I kind of want to wait and have other... We've had mostly dry weather the entire time. Let's get something kind of adverse. One more time. One more time. Really. It is a dry, dry day, is it? Will we deploy? 
Well, this will be our first group of actual trees in a battle, though. Very hilly terrain. We can deploy all in the woods here and run up on them. This is a nightmare scenario for these enemies. Welcome, Ethiopian infantry here. Put you guys all in the, the trees. Has sighted your hidden no, units. shh. But being dramatic, they don't see anything. Well, it appears like they do. What kind of trees are these? We'll grab our Ethiopian tribesmen. Let's get the whole army arrayed so we know what I'm working with. Clubsmen. Spears. Or excellent Ethiopian archers. Which we'll control down a couple times so that they're spread out and in a group. I like that. And then our javelins. We'll have the higher range up front. Or obviously in behind, I guess. But I'd rather you be taking damage more than these javelin men. We'll spread them out a bit. Something like that. All right, and you guys can just kind of run up on them, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Egyptian spearmen will just have them walk up the front gates here. You're going to need a lot of courage for your job, for sure. Lots of damage coming your way. Same thing with Memnon, sadly. Yeah, it appears these trees don't quite hide everyone. They were before, but a second I moved them... Only two of them can stay hidden, so let's make sure that they don't know where we're at. Can we hide them in any way, shape, or form there? A little weird. That's probably in uh, just attempts to keep you from cheesing the AI too much there. We'll grab two of them, pull them over to this side. They can't hide in these woods, though, which is weird. That should be well out of line of sight. Hey, very interesting. Perhaps we found a bug. Probably playing as intended, though, I can't lie. So we're going to lose some dudes on the way in, but that's just going to be how it is. Plenty of tribesmen on this side. We're going to want to overload one edge there and not spread the forces too thin. Back to these guys hide over here. And eh, not quite. What's the point of the trees? Nonsense. They can hide in the trees. Maybe it's due to the, their units. Am I, am I missing something important here? Hide it, scrub and forest. Now, they can all hide in the scrub and forest. They're just having troubles with this forest. This one is not scrubby enough. Okay, we'll get complaining and get these guys deployed then. Archers can hide there just fine. To be honest, the javelins are kind of the most expendable. We'll have them push up with the main body force here. Slings behind. Spears, can we hide you in here? No, you guys are also the most expendable there, Napata Spearmen. And we'll have the club in behind you. Everyone gets a free admission to the club. And lots of trauma. And then everyone else. That'll be good. Push them forward. Prepare for the towers to tear our men at two shreds. Bring the boys in. Take those walls. And then my Ethiopian archers bring them up and tear those Achaean slingers to shreds. Take any of the walls that are not already being occupied there. They're being uh, annihilated. Get these spearmen up on the walls. You guys go up that side. Wherever you can. Got the excellent uh, guitar Greek music combo. Get those ladders up. Butt ladders deploy. They're just like Batman. Now again, the cast do battle mochi. Do you want me to come over there and throw hands? Memnon's been teaching us how to throw hands quite well. If these Ethiopian drives been fighting even harder, these walls belong to us. If this was the blood was on, they would be drenched and jammed. Taking some damage on the way in, but I think we've mostly made it. Yeah, these uh, staff bearers took the brunt of that. Those towers know who's dangerous. Memnon, we need you guys to get up on the walls there. Spearman, you go ahead and keep standing there. Javelins and everyone else, find someone to stab. All right, let's get these arrows on these Achaean slingers in the back line there. All of the other slings and javelins and such throw at these Achaean slingers here. You guys, though, Orbis is your target. Orbis is your target. Go ahead and make these spearmen mad if we can't. I guess because they're up on the wall. 
That would make sense. Alright, the Achaean slings are getting annihilated. Those guys are fleeing. Come on into the next group. You are about to capture the gate. Guys, hold this position there. And then you two can work together on these Achaean slings. Drag them down. Man, these towers hurt. We've lost all sorts of soldiers. Yeah, the walls are going down pretty quickly there. Your warriors are attacking the gates. Rest in peace, Memnon's lads. That was some damage from those towers. All right, archers, let's move you up to start firing on Forbus there. Or anyone trying to move up on uh, Memnon himself, which is, looks like a lot of them. Love men, come on down and fight these militia, please. You guys go fight this other group of militia, and everyone else can go get the initial targets I told you to. Everyone on the walls is fleeing. Javelins, everyone check your javelins at Forbus here. He called you ugly. I heard it. Revenge through blood. Those guys are broken. Come on in and break this champion next. Diopides needs a hug. He's climbing, so there's nothing we can do. All right, well, instead, we're just going to keep him up on the wall. We can just jump him down so we can actually use his abilities then. Let's force these young spears to attack him. Please. Nah, not quite. Let's instead, give someone else some more damage. You have captured the enemy tower. Emnon needs help. I do you actually think the long spears have advantage over him? Activate the attack once more there. Fight with Valor. And we're being a bit overwhelmed. Let's get the lads over. Victory is close enough. Yeah, look at these four Pharaoh infantry. They were sitting there getting shot by the towers the entire time. That was a lot of damage. They're going around the absolute horde of lads. Activate the leader's will. Fight with Valor! Because Pharaoh wills it. Bring them down. I do want one of these clubs of my own here. I have, I do own a couple blades. I own a Gladius and a, uh, the Viking and the enemy is trying to capture the gates. Having one of the, uh, I don't know exactly the, the precise Get name for that club. I guess it would be a Jit Staff. I want one. They've got lots of slings firing on us. Memnon's taking a lot of damage. Uh oh. Yeah, they've got us kind of bogged down where the slings can get lots of damage. These militia need to be broken, and actually we need to kind of... We need to break these guys now. They're getting, they're getting lots of free hits on us. Uh oh. We need the elite guys to get on over here now. We cannot lose Memnon. Protect your leader at all costs here. In fact, I kind of want to pull him back. Where's Memnon at? He should be throwing down in the center here. Yeah, there he is. He's ready. They do have the high ground, though. Oh, there goes the route. Perfect. Just in time. Memnon, pull away. Get up on these walls again if you can. Everyone else, start firing on the guys that are not fleeing. Love to hear it. Who's that? These guys here, bring them in. Towers are mean, we know it. Our archers, let's go ahead and get them set up over here. Could be away from the towers. And our javelins that are kind of running up into combat, and it should not be. Stay here. Memnon, come on down. Are they all breaking? There it is, finally. White flag. Ooh, that one was dangerous. But we pulled it off. Seven hundred and sixty-five losses. We probably could not have done that with the previous force before upgrading. Yeah, in the tummy. That was a finesse attack. And the Apodes falls. Good group of food, some bronze, and five gold. We'll take it. Raising this settlement would give us a lot of food and some stone. 
I'll go ahead and raise and kill. Our temples and rituals of pleased Artemis. And we get ourselves a light iron tip javelin. Extra range for all of our javelin units. 20% is a quite hefty number. And then 4% uh, more armor facing damage for our hero. Sounds good to me. Doom of cities. That'd be Memnon. And the dolphin cult has fallen. Pretty sweet bit of art there. I kind of want that as a almost as a desktop background. That looks incredible. All right, we definitely need to do some replenishing. Set up camp. That set up camp a little bit further down. Then this I can do. Good to hear. Ah, uh, a priestess. Hello, we madam. Would you like to join our camp? Appease the gods or suffer. Are you? She looks like she's wearing a chef hat. No, that's not what it is, but this is a Chef Boyardee coming to May offer us some goodies. Okay. The Master Trainer of Ethiopia. I kind of would like to get in the uh, marching drums now, though. 12% more movement range is no slouch of a number. Canaanite Quartermaster would give us more defense. We'll get there. For now, we'll go for the marching drums. We get both. That would be great. Yes, let's go ahead and get both of these. Extra rage. Glory is ours. And then now we start moving down towards the Canaanite brothers there. So, expert trackers and sand saws it is. Which, two researches I wasn't going to go for for a bit, but eh, such is the way, I guess. I think we do need to start negating our bronze deficit pretty soon. Okay, recruit another hero in. He would be a upkeep of 300 food. I mean, we could get someone that benefits what Memnon's rolling with here. Got a very varied uh, group here. Some of these guys look like they could be almost uh, Macedonian Greek, which is a bit weird. I don't know if this is this, the proper time frame for that one. They almost have a Roman look to them. Which, fair, I guess some of these guys are coming from Canaan and such. I don't know that we want the hit to upkeep just yet. I think we'll keep what we've got for now. I'm going to stay out of diplomacy as well. We'll go ahead and jump into the Divine Will. Can we get another prayer off? We sure can. Let's get, not a prayer to Athena, but to... Uh, what does Apollo's prayer give us? Line of sight. All the prayers are not useful. Some of them are quite useful. Others quite a bit aren't. The encourage ability is not bad. We've already got Aphrodite's horde growth. If we grab Artemis's prayer, we get five warriors of Artemis. Oh, interesting. Then we get Strider for the upcoming future. I like that. Prayer to Artemis it is. Goddess of the Hunt. Ethiopia Why, thank you. Yeah, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, aren't we, Memnon? And another turn. All right, Artemis' prayer was answered, so we, now we have some more goodies. Love to see it. In Pharaoh's name. Back up to a thousand or ten thousand food, which is quite nice. All of our other resources, though, are slipping a bit. That's fine. We can even that on out, no problem. I will do this. I am kind of tempted, though, to continue to replace some of our troops. Looks like we have these Warriors of Artemis now, which have a lot of abilities there. What on earth? They've got Snipe, they've got Stalk, they've got Serrated Edges, so their projectiles lower morale. And they're a Forest Fighter. Oh, are right there. Warriors of Artemis, you guys sound great. Discouraged. Already got three archers in. Our Ethiopian hunters are performing a pretty vital role as anti armor. We don't really need the slings. So, uh, Egyptian slings, it uh, looks like you have outlived your worth. See you guys later. Queers of Artemis, it is. We'll go ahead and merge up some of these javelinmen as well. For my kinsmen. That looks good. We can grab two of these. Warrior lasses here. 
we really need to fix up our bronze deficit, though. Really do. We're gonna get some wood for bringing down Leto. Who else at war with you guys? You might as well try talking for what it's worth. Oh, talk is about to end, buddy. Don't you worry. Oh, you're tagging back in? Welcome, Adam. Happy you're back. Glad you are back. We are definitely a rising strategic threat. We're burning everyone. How's it going? Yeah, we've been winning. I, I We haven't lost a single battle here. I'm sure that's about to come to a screeching halt. We're about to meet Sparta, but for now, Nosos should be no problem. I was hoping that someone else was at war with him, though, so we could lend our services as mercenaries, but that's just not the way. Then we just attack. Uh, war it is. Yep. Yeah, no, indeed. We are steadfast. Steadfastly murderous. Fight with honor. That's a lot of soldiers. Hang on now. With me, men. Wait just a that's second there, Memnon. That's beyond me. Yeah, that's a lot of guys. In and we are not life. quite full strength yet. Memnon. What we are going to do is maybe try to lure him on over. Maybe he thinks we're weak and would like to try his luck. Set up camp. Set up camp. Not a chance. I'd like to maybe go into an ambush instead, Absolutely. though. So let's go... This is... Probably a pretty nice spot for an ambush. Right here on this crossroads. We march on. We'll start hiding. Conceal yourself. What's the chance? Where, where do we find our ambush success chance? It is just it is or it isn't. Okay, well, we are in the middle of the ground, so hopefully we have high success. I mean, I am enjoying it. It's been a, been, been a good bit of fun. I pose the question to you all, though. Have you been enjoying Troy so far? Is Troy worth playing? What y'all think? At least worth watching. We've been making Memnon a bit interesting. As I said, it is not the... It's definitely not the most elite playthrough, but... I think we're doing all right. Take a look at our diplomacy. See if anyone wants a quick deal just yet. Still no, huh? Maybe we try to get some... Uh, Greasy this palm going. Is what do you what do you want? One. Wow, a lot of stuff. Um No. How about that? How about no? But you offend the king of Ethiopia again, and we come burn Troy next. That'd be no problem at all. For our missions, we have the warrior kings, so we need to get some more camp followers. Let's go ahead and find the ones that cost gold. So the ones that actually injure the enemy lord. Don't have the gold for them though. Sad. We gotta wait. Completing the mission. How 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 much do we care about that one? You know what? We'll grab the Outrider Scout. Complete this mission. There is benefit in employing more oh, Warrior King expertise. Okay, yeah, I appreciate. It. Love to hear it. Worthy have a flock to the god like Memnon. We gained a good bit of experience in wood, stone, and bronze. We have to raise Nosos in the Ida province. Oh, don't you worry, we're on our way. We get the uh, notion secrets. The remains of the Cretan knowledge are now in Ethiopian hands, ready to yield their hard-fought secrets. Giving us even more uh, knowledge. And then more experience to all heroes. We'll probably want to recruit someone before we raise Nosos. Keep that in mind. Son right of then. He decided to not come on out of his walls. Unless we didn't actually hit in turn yet, and I'm crazy. Which could indeed be the case. And then I don't mind that at all. I definitely don't. I don't pretend to be of legends abilities in any shape or form. Makes the game look like a absolute joke usually. Cost of action sounds really nice. Extra morale. I don't really care about our morale as much as breaking the enemies. Aries Rage. Or Truce. Which gives us defense, but drops attack. That sounds awful. Why would I want this? Let there be a lull in the hostilities while the gods judge our fate. No. I'm going to chop you in half. Pain Barrier gives us a bit of damage resistance. That's probably pretty solid, but I think Terrify is definitely the way to go. 
What's it? Is it an activated ability here? Oh, it is. I thought it was just that they were extra scary as they ran around. No, that I understand as well. I, I learn a lot from making this. Most of my learning comes from making mistakes, so I can understand where you're going from there. How I learned the initial Total War. I lost so many campaigns in uh, Medieval 2. Just again and again and again. Got the crud kicked out of me. Key production cost for Spearmen sounds nice. What do y'all think for our, uh, our abilities here? There's lots of good skills, and I'm not quite sure where we want to go for us. Terrify sounds good, because we can scare some guys off. Extra morale is good, too. Want to get down here to these Magi warriors, or even the... No, we definitely don't want the Egyptians. We want the Magi. Well, I wouldn't wind into a total war that is set in Egypt. Let's go for the uh, experienced missile units, I think. Oh, no, it's, there's no problem being new at all. Like I said, I, I lost countless campaigns on, on repeat. On repeat. And I've never even uh, played Empire yet, so you're, you're ahead of me there, too. I've got a campaign or two on Napoleon. And since I was at the point when, when I was playing so terrible at Gunpowder Armies, I... Quickly, I quickly gave up on Napoleon. Yeah, my man fit infantry do not make me very happy. I think we probably go for the prayer to Apollo, though. You have to pause. No, that's entirely fine. There's no issue with having to play to pause for uh for order giving at all. That was that was me for a very very long time. I still have to use slow mo on a, a lot of battles if I want because I'm so crazy about making sure I lose the very minimum amount of troops. We'll go ahead and give the prayer to Apollo. Three hundred experience per turn sounds awesome. We have one more skill point as well. Let's go ahead and go for terrify. Scare these boys off. His feathers are terrifying. You're getting a very sneaky. Egypt. You could upgrade some of these. The Pharaoh's Steel as well. This is just for the Egyptians. Extra morale for all Egyptians as well. Nightwatch, not bad. Fatigue reduction to all units. I don't think I can actually build this wall. Yeah, we'll put this in camp stance. So we'll have to go for this after we win the battle against the Lado. All right, then. That's a turn. Terrify would be good. I, listen, I agree. Terrify sounds awesome. When I'm playing uh, Three Kingdoms, I was I when I had I had a uh, a Liu Bei campaign going, and there was a, a lad there with a, a Terrify style ability that was just scaring off all my soldiers on repeat. I couldn't win the battle. Didn't matter how many I had, you just scared everyone off. A lone tree stands a little chance against the furious wind. He wants us to give him food per no. I'm offended. You would ask. We need to make a barter agreement through diplomacy. Well, just as it just asked us uh, to do so, I he is going to sit that. there and continue to uh, My honor guides me. recruit soldiers. So let's go attack where he's not then. I shall. Big dummy. We'll sneak right on past you and go attack Lidos. I see your garrison at all. It's small, but he may have more troops in there. So let's go kind of sneakily by. Onwards, brothers. Snooch on by this fella here. Push onwards. Okay, there's a, a bronze helmeted lad in Lidos. Maronius. Oh, Maronius. Prepare Time to meet to your end. Our skill. Let's go ahead and encircle up and the pray to some gods. Plane. We do need to do a Hecatomb. Hecatomb for Ares would drop, jump it up into I think the celebrated effect there, so dropping the Morale even further. That would be awesome. But that's the prayer. I see. The Hecatomb is on the left side and the prayer is on the right. I believe. I believe that's how that works. Reload skill for the archers in the next upcoming battle. That's probably in the tireless as well. We jump up into the next tier. 
it's up in the 600. Hecatomb would give us 80 favor into Artemis. I don't know if that's enough. In fact, I don't think it is. Oh, my math is breaking. This is far too late. Gunline. Yeah, no, I, I should definitely... I do want to give Empire a try, because people say it's quite fun. As an Englishman, I can't do it. Not that, See, that I understand. I'm surprised you learned anything from my Pirate Coast video, man. I, I that was a that was a lesson in learning gunpowder myself. Let's go ahead and grab the the wild hunt here. I think my math serves me right. This will only take us up to uh, five hundred and uh, ten. They're so not worth it because that doesn't get us up into six hundred tier. I think Ares we can get up to into the next one, or maybe with. don't get a lot of options for something that helps us out in a current battle, though. Kind of the issue. Bronze construction costs, gold construction costs, and then other things and such. That's just slingers. We don't have any slingers anymore. We chuck those guys on out. I think instead we just grab the one for Artemis and keep that moving on up towards the next tier instead. A feast to honor the gods. Moving towards the next tier is what we're going to go for. 600 food and 50 bronze. I've learned quite a bit more from gunpowder in the Chaos Dwarf campaign. The only issue is, I guess, the Chaos Dwarves are wildly overpowered with their blunderbusses. I hope nothing changes with them, but that they just are so incredible. Uh, 250 favor gives us a elite unit. Where? Give me. With pride and valor. What do we get? Oh, the Magi Warriors. Sold? Well, Ethiopian Spearman, I think it's time for you to go ahead and uh, get the boot. To the field of battle. What do the Magi count as? Two-handed spear? That's basically the same. These guys have... No, it took the wrong ones. Well, that's sad. Ugh. Have to kick out the more elite ones because they merged the wrong ones time together. To Not the wrong ones, speed. the ones they wanted to. Come on in, Magi Warriors, then. Excellent charge, excellent morale, armor piercing. And they also hunt Templars. Depending on what universe you're from. Bonus versus hero sounds good. These will be the anti-hero units. Yeah, that's incredible. They can hide, they vanguard, they encourage. Yeah, the Ethiopian units are, in, are, are the best. Remember your training. Remember Fight your training. Owner. Can we give this one to the auto-resolve? You can be nice to us. Predicted casualties low. Let's let's see how bad the auto-resolve is to uh Mimnon's forces here. To the field of battle. Oh, that knee kick. That's right. Oh, we got laughing at him. That's... That's the most disrespectful kill we've had so far. A 90 loss. That works. That That's a pretty good auto-resolve. I can't complain. We're gonna go for the Raisin and Slave for the extra replenishment rate. This city is no more. Nope. And they get to be Egyptians. Welcome. Is the resistance and morale. The Festus's golden armor. These gleaming armor pieces were gifted Herac uh, Heracles, that he may not be swept from his chosen path. Now it belongs to Memnon. Morale and aura size. In defense of Troy. What are you gonna do about it, there, buddy? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into a, a ambush stance right outside Alitos here. He should run right into it. What can we do with Purify? Range or melee defense? Drops their melee defense, or we get more morale drop. Or whatever. Or range. So is that just one unit or affect all enemies? This is all enemies. This is way more useful. It's an 80 meter radius. It's quite large. Melee defense drop would be pretty good too, but if this is just a flat AoE buff. That'd be awesome. Listen, Oxyadl is great. We're gonna have to give him another try soon. I was playing Oxyadl with uh, 
very limited knowledge as to immortal empires. Now that I've kind of got the swing of things and know that Oxyadal's forces can just sneak right behind enemy lines and not worrying about anything, that's the best. Oh, I agree. Yes, they definitely need these animations in, in Total War. Or, I guess in Total War. In uh, Warhammer. Or just for every battle, not just auto resolve. Any battle at all. They're, 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 they're the best uh, animations. Little flavor bits there. We need to find ourselves some more followers. A courageous victory. Quite. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up outside. We'll give ourselves some skills. I think we'll go for the range on this. We'll test out to see if it's a, an AoE spell. Or an AoE ability there. Only to find out that we could have Storm's probably protector. changed our our bodyguard if we wanted. That'll make me sad. I don't even want to look. Do we know what path he's going to take? Do the AI usually take the, the roads? That would change the quite a bit. We need 25% movement range. We have 30%. Uh, 25% would go out to about there. We ventured forward. Ambush stance. Let's ambush. see if we can catch him. If we can catch him. King and if Ethiopia. not, next turn we'll go ahead and maybe recruit another hero. Although our food is looking a bit suspect at the moment. Pharaohs will a wee be bit done. suspect. Now it doesn't seem to show ambush chance at all. Uh, that's what we see discovered earlier. Oh, but they failed to spot it, so we'll actually get to see what the ambushes are like. Awesome. And Dominus, the fool. He's got some pretty heavily armored spearmen here, though. We will have to keep that in mind, and some young spears. Which have almost no survivability against my slings and arrows. Auto-resolve would kill a couple of my boys here. We'll see if we can keep them alive. Bad looking map. We've got some sneaky ways in, and the archers can fire out of the brush there. That will be quite the fight. Do we have a camp follower? Oh, we do. Do we want to spin the gold to reveal all the enemy units? Let's try that one on out. And fight the battle. of the sword or the bow this is oh this is a, this is a devastating ambush okay then warriors of artemis will have you guys go ahead and lead the charge it is, settled. it is indeed settled you guys just throw arrows off the side we don't even care if you're hidden ethiopian archers you guys do the same a proper ambush the skaven will be proud if these archers grouped up Put the Ethiopian javelin men. I want them jumping the spears. They do maximum damage to those guys there. So let's set them up. I will apologize. I'm starting to lose the voice. No, not now. Not now, not ever. All right, we've got Memnon up front here. With the Magi. Ready to face off with the enemy hero. The other spearmen ready to come on in from... Well, they've got their armor piercing, do they not? Bonus be large, which we don't really have much of just yet, so we want them fighting one of the weaker units, like the long spears or the skirmishers. Love the staff bearers, which also, I guess, don't have uh, armor piercing, which is a little bit surprising. We'll have them kind of routing the skirmishers. We'll rush them around behind here. And then the fairy will probably need to stay out of it. They're quite weakened. Supreme Predators. Grab you guys here. Have you holding the line with Memnon. And you guys can come on up as well. We won't charge them in immediately. We'll let some of the javelins throw over their heads. And then we'll kind of rush these guys over. All right then, let's get this battle going. The foe has shited your hidden well, I'm units. sure they have. You guys deal with those javelin men. That's working out. 
Uh, Magi, you go hunt down Indominus. Indominus. Memnon, rush him down and give these guys some extra melee attack. I'm a big fan of the music in this, uh, this game, too. I can't lie. Oh, get him, Magi. They look awesome. Poke. Oh, that's some friendly fire going down. They should absolutely handle Indominus there. Whatever his actual name is. All right, infantry, you guys should move on forward now as one large group. Slaughter them all. Well, most of you kind of coming this way, though. We need... You two rushing this way. Victory! Is close enough to taste. It is indeed. This poor man got ambushed and he is getting annihilated for it. The melee or the uh, morale drops from the Warriors of Artemis as well as our hero here is just too much. Just too much for him. And there's the victory. That was quick. Alright, let's do what we can to route these guys on off. We'll catch as many as possible. Sacrifice them for Ra. I don't think that's quite how that works, but we're doing it this time. It's the new alternative history. Things are much more crazy here. I think quite a bit of rage to activate that ability. We'll try to hunt down as many as we can, though. Move faster. That's that's wrong. That's whiplash. That's what that is. Ouch. No, agreed, Adam. These battle maps are awesome. And I, I'm not sure why they don't just kind of... Because all you would all you would have to do, I would assume, is just kind of take this map and reskin a lot of it, and it could work just fine for Warhammer, unless I'm I'm mistaken, but... Let's not get too much friendly fire there. That's going to hurt. At least it seems like that's what you can do, but... Um, I'm sure there's something more complicated than that. Yeah, Warhammer, Warhammer does have... It has it has quite a bit of problems. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, right in the gut. Now, what do you think this is? Memnon isn't scared of you. Right in the back. This man is alive somehow. I don't know. He's probably bleeding out of many orifices. You need to get some medical attention right away. He only lost 63. A lot of... Uh, I think a lot of health damage there, but we got out of that pretty well. We will go ahead and not let them live, but we will go ahead and take them on. We need lots of extra replenishment. Move on, Nosos. I have honed my skills. Create a horde army. So we need to recruit ourselves another hero. He may just be an extra hero that waddles around and follows Memnon into battle. We gain Minos's ring. The ring's wearer may claim kinship with Poseidon himself and benefit from his divine bounty. Plus three favor of Poseidon faction wide, and then 20% minus to attrition in deep sea waters. Wait. Memnon. Memnon, can we get your next soldiers yet? Oh, rank 11. Wait, what am I talking about? Here they are. Oh, the Magi. Yes, please. These guys are just resistant to flanking, and they are strong against swordsmen, axemen, and large units. I don't even have to guess. Magi are way more awesome. Listen, especially not after a couple stab wounds from a Capiche. I don't or a Capesh. I don't think these things have a. It's a very large blade. They're not really meant for stabbing, so uh, I'm sure you can do it. But, but yeah, the initial point they're more for chopping. They're like a machete, like an early uh, early era machete. Memnon. No, so this is for our one of our missions there. But we can come on back over to Leto and get some more wood. I think that's a good idea. Welcome, Lado. We, I think we can recruit in the hero over here at Lado. That way he can... Oh, hello. Recruiting not on my watch. Son of the dawn. Artemis and Ares stand with me. That is all you really need in battle. I'm sure Zeus helps out, but he likes to watch. But he's not busy doing other things. Auto resolve. Remember your dream. Yeah, it's good for pulling away shields through that hook on the top. It's meant for kind of ripping shields away. It's really a, it's a, kind of a 
Oh, it's like a blend between an axe and a sword. They're very choppy. I also want one of these. I want a capiche quite badly. Collection of weapons. I think we will. Uh, letting them live is not a bad call. We lost a lot in that fight, though. So you know what? We will go ahead and take them on. They serve Pharaoh now. They do. And Memnon is widely known. Even more aura size, more melee attack, and infinite. Pharaoh will be pleased. Pharaoh's pleased. I don't think everyone else is, though. We're a rising strategic, uh, strategic threat. I'm surprised there, Troy. You were only at war with Pythia. You know, like we, I could, we could probably use some of those uh, war declarations to our advantage there, and we'll probably do so in just a second. For now, we'll move on over to Leto. Time to test our skill. We will surround the city. Fight with honor. And can I recruit in another hero? No, we cannot. Oh wait, we can indeed. All right then. Okay. Ethiopia triumphs. Uh, I will take your word for it there. The, the Confucians are awesome. Awesome weapons. Outclassed by longer and more modern blades in the later period, but still quite, quite awesome. Who do we want to go for for our other hero there? We could get some archers. Because this is going to be similar to... Uh, a Memnon there where they're not they're not by themselves they've got a, a retinue of troops with them what do you all think an archer trickster one of the warmongers I'm assuming, assuming is going to run in with some club units there what takes does it take two turns or two population no, surplus to recruit the men I'm tempted to go for Asmarad here the archer trickster Listen, I'm not saying they're my absolute favorite. I have many, many weapons that I'm a big fan of. The Highland Claymore, that's, that's definitely one of them. Same thing with the uh, Nodachi. Is it easier to use than a Katana? No. But does it look cooler? Absolutely. That's all that matters. Welcome in, Asmaret. You look like you're wearing... This is not great. This is not a great animation. Look like he's wearing a coconut on his head. Expanding our maps further. Lovely bunch of coconuts. We have expanded our horde and we got some food. He gained a bodyguard of Ethiopian hunters. Okay, that's not quite what I was expecting, but it makes sense with, with his garb. He actually is wearing exactly what they are, so. He has a trait expedition commander. We shall scatter and attack them at their weakest. He gets more campaign movement after raising. He looks almost identical. He's almost identical to, uh, to Memnon there. Fair enough. You're just gonna hang out Rise and uh, bother them while Memnon does all the damage. To the field of Leto. Auto resolve is being nice to us. Sure is. Remember your training. Get wrecked. Yeah. And no one's stopping Memnon. 52. That was way better than the last one. <gasps> Yeah, they did definitely use obsidian and, and their uh, those great big mace weapons. And some of the more daggers and such, too. Let's go ahead and grab the raisin and slave there for the extra replenishment. Leave no place to hide. No place to hide. A courageous victory. The issue is the Spanish had gunpowder. Servant of Egypt. And that Cortez was very charismatic. He was he was very good at convincing the uh, tribes of the area that already didn't like the Aztec much to join him instead, which didn't necessarily work out for them in the end. But he was good at convincing them that that was the best course of action. I'm ready. My honor guides me. Jesus rage. We shall drown the world in flames. That's definitely where to go for besides the other. Vector of the people gives us more morale and movement range. After battle. That's pretty nice. Turns us even more into Torox. 
I'm pretty interested in turning ourselves into Torox there. We could also increase our Magi Warriors. Specialty Replenishment, we've got some really good skills unlocked. The attack of all units. Replenishment rate's probably the one we go for. Heroes wounded. Keep cost. All heroes faction wide. Wow, that's awesome. Upkeep reduction is always great. Let's you get more troops. Hero now gains rage passively, or yeah, that sounds great. Problem is we're gonna probably trade out those Magi Warriors for some of these other more elite ones very soon. Rank 12 even, so we're almost there. Let's instead melee attack charge bonus. We get to drop any morale any further. That'd be great. Oh yeah, no, agreed. The Aztec were uh we're a pretty pretty awesome warrior race. Or Warrior Civilization. Yeah, I'm talking about the lizard man. I'm getting it blended up. Like I said, it's very late. Don't get me twisted. We're quite feared. But that there, the issue is that them causing issues with everyone around them led to them getting jumped by everyone in Cortez all at the same time. Rage causes fear, berserk. I don't think we want to go berserk. Not, not without. Since we have a like a uh, actual bodyguard unit, let's grab the replenishment. We have decided. Pharaohs will be done. I think we want to In go. I'd love to do some more raiding, but I think we'll just camp. Set up camp. And try to do some more building. I think we want a night watch. So it doesn't actually give us more movement range, it just gives us more fatigue reduction. So there's just an increased, there's just an extra level of something new every time instead of actually increasing the original. Interesting. Born for you. My favorite faction is, uh, before I guess the Chaos Stars came out, was the Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings all the way. Followed by the Lizardmen. Oxyadal's faction. Oxyadal's faction in specific. Gorok is quite fun. Not Gorok. Yeah, Gorok is quite fun now with the ability to get all your Saurus uh, barrier. Saurus with barrier is uh, is very nasty. Pharaoh will be pleased. Makes the Hecatombs cost more, but they give more goodies. We already have more melee attack. This increases it even further. How much population surplus are we rolling with? Three at the moment. Let's go ahead and go for the upgraded Night Watch just to drop our overall uh, fatigue there. What do y'all think we go for next? We kind of save for just the next uh, hero's retinue here. We'll need 225 gold. That's no small amount. We'll make it on over there. Or we can grab... Oh, the Egyptian Scrolls of Knowledge sound pretty good. Both of these special buildings are pretty incredible. We need both of them, I've decided. Five population surplus is a lot, though. Shoot through the heart. Is a lot. Oh, you have buildings, too. Hero seat and escort. Okay. I see what the Pharaoh statue it comes first. We're going to make this army Ethiopian as well. So saith the gods. I want to do the divine will. I think we could do another prayer if we so wish. We do need to start saving gold, though. Let's save off on the prayer for now. Much to destroy, little time to do it. I offer my friendship in all sincerity. Oh, do you now? He's going to give me gold for some bronze. Mm, I need my bronze, so I'm going to have to decline. This was meant to bring our peoples closer. He sounds so sad. Oh, we'll come closer, all right. Don't you worry. Tropian is destroyed. And we keep moving. Death will fill the sky. Uh, Memnon go first, just in case. Let's come on over here and destroy Nosos. Shall we? With pride and valor. 
with pride and valor. Andromachos. Well, good sir, your time is nigh. Would that I could. Prepare thine cheeks. Uh, we will continue the siege. Time to test our skill. Set up the pointy sticks of death. And we shall bring him on over as well. Oh, come on in, Asbaret. We're going to continue to leave you without troops, unless some of these guys are really, really cheap. I guess we can give you some more uh, hunters, just one more. As I say, and I, as I toss in two more. Let's grab one just to see how much it increases it. We can afford two. To the field of battle. I think four turns it blue instead of silver. Okay. With pride and valor. Auto resolve would get absolutely everyone slaughtered. Where is our uh, our other hero there? Oh, we can't reinf. I forgot we can't reinforce each other. That's the main thing about Memnon's forces here, isn't it? Having another hero is kind of useless. Huh. Well, we'll start raising. I may have to just kick this guy on out because there's no reason to have his uh, extra upkeep for no reason if we can't really use him. We don't have the gold to raise his army much stronger than it is. So, we'll go ahead and fight this battle on out. Then, since it thinks we're gonna lose, it hasn't learned yet. It's a shielded spearman. Those guys have quite a bit of armor. Club warriors. We actually have some uh, dedicated warrior class units now. His bowmen are not the sisters of Artemis, though, so they already have lost. Some DLC. Yeah, corn. I think was getting. I didn't know when they. They seems like they're getting something free. They're getting a free LC. This corn does not need love quite nearly as badly as some of the other factions. Zinch and Nurgle definitely both need help quite badly. And I would grab, I think the lizard men and dwarves really need it. Especially with the, how the dwarves are performing. The, uh, the dwarves are just not anywhere near the same. Where is the weakest point in this wall here? I think it's over here. We can kind of rush out of this little copse of trees on either side, go up and over, and then overwhelm them pretty quickly. I think let's go for it. Bribesmen, bear thine selves. We're not allowed to hide this close to the walls, I don't think. So you know what? Since we can't hide, we'll deploy as close to the walls as possible. There's no reason to delay things then. We'll have the spearmen moving up as well. Probably split this into two battle groups then. Uh, two Ethiopian archers and one warrior of Artemis on one side. Your hidden units. That is fine. Yes. Well, probably not fine for the Artemis warriors then. Pull them back to about there. Everyone else is safe. like Memnon to be leading the charge, but it seems a bit dangerous. Let's keep him back in with the other Magi warriors. He'll be leading the charge on the other side. Spearmen. This hunter is going to be really important as well trying to figure out the best place to deploy them so they can actually throw and hit guys up on the walls even if they're not necessarily probably attacking from this angle here. Lastly, we've got our staff bearers. We'll have one of them going either side. They are pretty important, so we'll keep them back. Alright, so we'll have this unit here. And the other guys. That'll do. You two be in guard mode. And then the archer is also in guard mode. Thank you kindly. Battle begin. Get the walls right away. Sleepiness is starting to affect us quite badly now. Get up there. I think we'll probably go for about 20-30 more minutes and then we'll probably call it. 
I will thank y'all early on, though, for uh, coming on into this campaign. It's been quite fun. Let's go ahead and hit these guys on the other side here. We'll send these spearmen up this side. Oh, that didn't work at all. Lloyd, quickly. Destroy them. Up on those walls. You do not move forward. You just keep firing on Andromachus and all the others around here. Just keep weakening as many as you can. You guys go duel with those Your warriors bowmen. are losing heart. Yeah, they are indeed losing heart, aren't they? Very surrounded by elite units. We may uh, have bitten off what we can do here. They're going to get up there and do all the damage in the world. Love to see it. 